Maul. You do. Yo, I don't know what therapist Maul got that is that about? has him gunning for me this way. Do I, I think everyone is trash? Yeah. Mike, yes. Mike, are y'all are y'all good with y'all sound? Yeah. Niggas, oh, do actually. Yeah, y'all are painting this fucking narrative. You're How? painting the I narrative. Stopped doing, You've been painting. They have this narrative. memes on you, angry man on the internet. What are you talking about? I stopped doing media to not allow people to paint narratives, and now on my own podcast, well, things hey. are creating narratives. That is amazing. Guess what? Hold on. We good with the sound? No, 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 no Joe Biden. We are back with the soundboard, bitches. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my soundboard is back. I felt handicapped the last few weeks. Last week, uh, because I just didn't pr- plan properly. The week before that, uh, I was fresh back from Turks. <laughs> Something light. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> real fresh quick. Off, quick, in and, PJ? quick in and out. You know what I mean? PJ's on the PJ. Fresh off United. <laughs> I hate United. <laughs> Keep loves United. That is terrible. United, United is the is worst. So fucking trash. All right, but we are here. The soundboard is back. The Joe Button Podcast episode, what? 120 what? Seven. Seven, I want to say. Yeah, these 20s are moving really fucking slowly. Yeah, man. Really slowly. 127. Uh, to my left is Rory. To my right is Maul. We're back at Parks's because we're just back at Parks's. Fuck it. Uh, Chris is here. Uh, our YouTube viewership is here. Shout out to everyone here. Gentlemen, how are we feeling today? Wonderful. I'm good. I'm good. Now, I prefaced this when Maul came in late. Maul, why you can't not be late? You prefaced what? <laughs> he was even late with the response. God damn it. <laughs> this guy's amazing, man. Hey, Rory, don't bitch up, man. We're getting him out of here, too. No, I, no, I have mad questions. All right, but slow down. Now, uh, I preface this with I'm in a very silly mood. Maul's not feeling well. No, no, no. Talk. You can talk. Oh, I was waiting I was, for you no, to finish I your was ending line. with I preface this with oh. I'm in a silly mood. That, that's oh, it. Okay. I just want everybody to know the temperature of the room. Nigga. <laughs> type of white the shit he on, man. <laughs> That was mad white privilege. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. I'm I missed. You. We, don't worry. We're going to talk about Rory. We're going to talk about Rory, too. We're going to talk about you. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about all of it. But I'm in a silly mood. Rory, what's your mood? You good? I'm good. I'm great. Fresh off a little R&R in Philly. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to talk about that, too. Yeah. Fresh uh, off the festival the, stage. Where, where would you gentlemen like to start? Maul, don't brace yourself for the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's corny. I'm not that's doing corny. I'm, I'm yeah, sitting hey, here Chris, listening pan, to y'all. Pan the Maul, please, because he's trying to brace himself for the jokes. I, I don't chilling, like when that happens. I'm chilling. Be yeah, cool. I, I'm cool. You know, I'm always cool. Now, the room has a question. Okay. Don't let anybody get pussy. Let's get him out of here. We want to know why you, why, we have two questions. Okay. We want to know it's why you have yes, why you have to Uber from Manhattan <laughs> to Astoria, <laughs> and why? What do you have against Uber Pool? I, I think, don't want to sit next. I to think we let's can make you to be let, an elitist. Let's paint a, the backstory because usually we record in West Bubblefuck, New Jersey, where an Uber is needed. Always understood why Maul would Uber from Harlem or the Bronx yeah, we to where we were. Far. That's true. It's deep. Now we've been at Parks Crib. Parks in the hood. <laughs> we we right, right here. We right here. I'm right here. You <laughs> might get here quicker with the train. You, you might can walk Definitely. here quicker. <laughs> Definitely. Would. Oh, I'll try that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. Is that, is that, is that what y'all, I don't know what y'all looking for. Well, I'll try right. that. That was one more. I walk here. It's not week. dangerous on the train anymore. I'm telling you. So, Maybe I, it's, it's air conditioned. I, was, I, I never knew how to take the trains to Queens, though. I was never. Train the train Queens guy. Well, I'm not going to say where Parks like lives, but Ooh, it's pretty Queens. easy. It's it's not Queens is. No, I'm yeah. so, I wasn't going to say what stop, but it's pretty easy to oh, get okay. to. I, I don't know. All right. And also, Maul. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't laugh with me. Yet. Oh, all right. Wait. <laughs> all right. I'm going to wait for the punchline. No, what is it? No, it's no punchline. Okay. It's just funny. Now, me and Rory had conspired to get you out of here very early in the week. Mm-hmm. And when Rory called me, I wasn't in the best of moves to talk about whatever bullshit he wanted to talk about. But the very next morning. You <laughs> <laughs> was in the mood? I was in the mood. Okay. So. I was tight, too. Because when you called, I was like, oh, nah, you sound like you're not in a good mood. And you need to be in a good mood to you see what me, Maul just you posted. You called me at 9 p.m. I was asleep. Yeah, you are old. And then the next morning, I felt bad for my voice on the call because I'm like, and I told Sin, I'm like, yo, 
Nine o'clock on a Saturday, I mean, <laughs> that is the time to call somebody. <laughs> Whatever. But, uh, Maul, you know why you're interesting? Because you're from the, like, cool era still. And you cool era niggas are having to adapt to, like, Snapchat, Insta Live, Insta Snap, and shit like that. So, because of that, I always click on your Insta Snaps. Mm-hmm. And they're always pretty vague. Mm-hmm. I think that's done purposely, by the way. Yeah. That is done purposely. It's a lot of yeah. mystique. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, Maul's mysterious, though. But, but why? I don't know. But he, he is. is. So. But why? I still don't know what Maul does. Why are you mysterious? <laughs> That's not even an adjective I, I that you like, just I say like, about I, niggas. I feel like it's good to be mysterious, especially now. I'm with you. Everything is out in the open. There's no more privacy. Man. Okay. I agree with that. Now, so I click on your Insta snap. Mm-hmm. And Rory did it first. Mm -hmm. But we both found it funny. Mm -hmm. And you had this Supreme Nas t-shirt <laughs> that you were really excited to own. Mm -hmm. That's I right. was confused as to why you were that excited to have this in your possession. But I'm not cool. So I assumed it was like some exclusive or a really expensive shit. But then I coupled that with you being Supreme head to toe the last nine weeks of the podcast. And now Not I have a lot of questions. You got a deal. No. No, head to toe. <laughs> there is no toe for us. Gloria please. Estevan. Who sings head to toe? I, don't know. I have no I don't idea. Know. Oh, <laughs> Sheila E. Or Sheila Easton. Y'all don't know who sings that head to toe. Be, yeah, that might be performing. Head to toe. Uh, no. Sound like Lisa Lisa. I think it might have been Lisa Lisa. Anyway, like yeah, you've been Supreme nigga head to toe. Mm -hmm. Talk to us. Tell us what's happening in well, your life. There also was a text layover of real hip hop over the Supreme t-shirt. With Nas. And well, that's that, when that, I was that, really that, confused, Maul. So that you was, own, that, well, that own shirt, this bullshit. No, that shirt, that shirt was just uh, in response to... I thought it was dope that Supreme did that after the whole... Uh, you know, when uh, Lonzo Ball said that Nas wasn't hip-hop. And he wasn't uh, relevant in hip-hop. But whatever he said. So I just thought it was dope that Supreme put that t -shirt. Supreme put that out immediately after he said that? Yeah, that was the newest release. One of the newest releases. That's some wild. And you had that shit. shit. Quick. Wait a minute. Sent that is to bullshit, door. Maul. What? Lonzo Maul. Ball said that an hour ago. Maul, Maul's the role <laughs> so I was like, damn, they printed that not shit quick. rolling with that shit. Nah, for real. That's he cool. just said that. Said that last week. How much was and that shirt? shirt came out I know you probably didn't pay for it, but how much was it? I want to know. Like how much. I'm not paying Wait, $200 for a t-shirt they printed in an hour. Wait, how much is Supreme charging? the Illmatic cover. Yeah, the, the resale is going for like 800 right now. God damn. How much are you purchasing this stuff for? I mean, you know. I don't want to. I want to. I mean, I want to put all that out there. You know. I mean, I, I mean, think the connect. You know. Got the deal. Nah, I ain't got no deal. Sponsorship. Are we done with Maul and Rory? Supreme, holla at me though. I'm good. I just, <laughs> I just want to see Maul on the R train. That's it. Yeah, I could see Maul on Maul. which train? The R. I'd like to see Maul on a little Uber pool just one time. <laughs> I tell you, I got a great idea for you about Uber pool, but we'll talk about that later. You. You did tell me. That is a great idea. I think it was on the podcast. I'm waiting for your lawyer to close our first great idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> think of it. What the hell? All right. And speaking of which, I need the money. what a segue. Oh, yeah. Rory, hey, we're doing this podcast early today because Rory ain't got a job. That's awesome. It's yeah, this shit is cool. When the sun is out and I'm like around, it's, it's all right. You had, the nigga this shit had, is all right. Rory might have had to watch his spending habits this weekend. Oh, I, I surely the fuck did. <laughs> Two my Heineken. ass was going to everything that was Heineken free. Maximum? Nah, I was going out my way to go to the open bars and the free food. <laughs> I was at Made of America walking through production tents, getting plates with people nice. that were really working. I wasn't spending a fucking dollar. Welcome wait, to wait, wait, wait. Y'all talking about my Insta Snap. What about Rory's Insta Snaps? Hey, don't, Maul, well, we okay. can get into that. Okay. Oh, my God. Maul, tell me about what you've seen on Rory's Insta Snaps or Lives. Because or, I have some theories about Rory, too, that I'd like to discuss here on this podcast. R Rory's definitely an industry head. That's a fact. Can I have some evidence? I'm unemployed, so open, I can't. I can't be social media. Media. All right, let's open it. He was on stage with Twenty One Savage. He was I was stage not with... on stage with Twenty One Savage what? ever in my life. Wait, time out. <laughs> Wait, Wait, what? what? <laughs> he was in the wings. I think was you in the wings when Twenty One was on the stage. Rory oh, is Twenty Seven was... Savage. <laughs> I, I have never been on a stage nor you, near. You was at Made on stage. Savage. You was on stage at Made with with, with somebody with Killer on. Mike. Oh, and Knife Wonder, Mad right. Unindustry. What? Yeah, they're still in the industry. <laughs> That's I mean, oh they're wait. cool. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, then oh, oh, and the text read something like, 
Uh, I, I'm just waiting for the moment someone dares to test the lyrical pen of that's, Killer that's Mike. Right, that's it, right? The lyrical, the lyrical pen. pen is what I wrote on he Insta definitely Story. definitely said yeah. something like that. That's what he said. Like, I want to see somebody yo, test dude, Killer Mike I, so bad. I, I read that shit and was yeah. like, yo, Rory is such a yeah. loser. Yeah. Yeah. He definitely got the, uh, what was the tweet? He said something like, got a pep talk from the OGs. Yeah. Ah, that's definitely, the OG? definitely what I wrote. Who's that's definitely what I wrote. Who's the I'll let you guys completely know what the pep talk was. I want to know what the pep talk was, who the legend was. No, I'm for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, Rory, because this is shit that I'm telling you, these are valid, it's valid complaints. Questions. He definitely said, just had the longest sit down with the OGs. I'm here, I'm here for all the jokes, but you guys have misquoted every last thing. <laughs> all right, well, nigga, yeah. we'll yeah. get to the right one. <laughs> it's funny, nigga. Get I know, right. so I've let y'all get them off. I'm right, laughing too. I think it's funny, uh, but in <clears throat> I was at Made of America. How does that make me industry? There was 50,000 people you were on you stage. You had an all-access pass that you yeah, posted. Because I have friends that work in <coughs> that area. In the industry? Keep doesn't going. make me industry. We're almost there. We're almost so there. are you industry more? Because you know yeah, way yeah, more I industry am. people than me. I am. Okay. You wouldn't know that. Definition. You wouldn't know that from my social media, though. Mm. How would you know it from mine? You Rory, posted your all-access pass wait, wait. to Made in America. No, Where? Not. Show it. Show me. Show me. Insta story? Show me. I think... No, I saw that. Find it. Find it. Find it. Was it on, show it to was me. Was it on your story? Yeah, no. Your story? I, nah, but while you be tweeting some like court side shit, so yeah. let's not act completely innocent. I mean, that's not really industry. That's just tickets. That's a different to the industry, game. but still that's industry. Tickets so mine wasn't just a ticket to Made in America. You had an all access pass. You was on, the, you you on, was on the floor at an NBA game. Hey, and you, you know what? This is why I don't blame Maul, and y'all are right, because looking at those court side shits that Maul posts, it could come off like that. I don't blame Maul in that area because one, Maul really thinks that he is a coach in the NBA. <laughs> he might be. Honestly, that's number one. And number two, just so happens that Maul's friends, the tickets are going to be there. No doubt. So I don't fault him there. Rory goes the out there? of his way to say and show. I do. Oh, my God. This is such tell a us about, Are you joking? Or are you being for real right now? It don't matter. Because I don't so do that. Shit. It kind of don't matter. Yeah. yeah, it don't matter. It don't matter. Oh, all right. Well, then, if tell, you're going to get tell, a joke, so tell us fine. more about but the I pro- OG I pro- tweet. I clown people that do that, and I don't do that. Yeah, tell, us, OG. tell us more about the OG tweet. Oh, no, I can't talk about that on the podcast. <laughs> That's I what can't. I'm talking about, Rory. Get on your mysterious <laughs> shit. You I know what I'm saying? Nah, I got I to gotta save that one. Ah, oh, save it. You got content coming? You know what I'm saying? You got kind of take it. It's a good talk, though. You got to roll out. What, what was it about? Guy, sip, you saw how he <laughs> sipped his drink. It was like, it was good talk, <laughs> what, what was the talk about with I the old? I can't talk about the talk. He can't talk about the man. talk. He can't yeah. talk about the talk, man. Maul, can oh, I, can I tell you something? <laughs> Maul, don't do that. Oh, I what? <laughs> All right, I have a, can I tell you something? Yes, you can tell me something. And I told Parks this earlier, and okay. I told Rory this earlier. Rory asked for a Made in America ticket in the middle of a negotiation with title. Okay. Period. Okay. That's the end of my statement. Uh, I mean, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't think. Yeah, there is. It depends on how the conversation was going. I don't know. I don't know. The, I don't know the gist of the conversation. Nah, that's crazy. Hey, I don't know. Who, you you want to know something? I don't know who crazier. Was talking. Joe is talking about a negotiation on the podcast. I don't know. who That's he was way talking fucking to. crazy. I don't know who he was talking to. You know what? Maybe I'm it just crazy. depends. I don't. Who was he talking to? It depends. I said it in passing to Joe and no one else. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, I, think. I said it to Joe in passing and no one else. Oh, so that <laughs> yeah. Mean, he you know he's gonna gas it. Yet he's talking about it on a podcast <laughs> about a negotiation about this podcast. I'm, I, <laughs> All right, I'm more so talking about the fact that Rory don't see nothing wrong with it. Wait, I don't care about who he said it to. Is, no, 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 but that, <laughs> that's important, though. That's an important factor in it. Who, who did right. he ask for the All right, tickets? wait, hold on. I got to give Maul some backstory now. Okay. Maul, do you remember when you were 27 years old? Yeah. How was that time for you? Fun. All right, here, no, no, my question is, that year, looking back retroactively now, looking back to that time in life, mm-hmm. was that a pivotal time? Was that important in the man that you would eventually become? Yeah. Yeah. I've had these talks with Rory. I think mm-hmm. Rory is at a crossroads at 27. Mm-hmm. I think this is where you make the leap or you just fall. <laughs> no, Rory going... I think, Rory. I think tw- no, I'm just talking about being 27 now. <clears throat> okay. Fuck Rory. Okay. That age... And we in September, mm-hmm. Rory would be 28 in May. Rory got how much longer to to post his uh, media pass? 
And I'm not he got which, which, show, I'm show, not saying you did that. I'm not saying you did that. I'm not saying you did that. He got, about, he got about another year and a half. That's what. Shit. But I don't do it now. So why are you saying much time I have left to do it? Okay, so now I would like to show Maul this picture from Rory's Instagram. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and oh, there it is again. <laughs> I didn't even see this picture. Oh, I want you to get into that for a little bit. Look at Rory. Okay, so now <laughs> see where the drop. Now see where the drop come from. First of all, Rory looked like he's in this picture twice. Who is this next? <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, yeah. To, uh, that's my man. Who the fuck we is that distinguished like Rory? <laughs> he, <laughs> Honestly, Maul, get he's it. a lawyer Maul, at Rock Nation. Maul, I don't give a fuck. Well, you that's should be I don't give a fuck. That's probably Maul's <laughs> that is Maul's lawyer. lawyer. I don't know who that is, though. <laughs> that's definitely your well, lawyer. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I have no idea, but okay. <laughs> well, they definitely said you don't know your lawyer. That's earlier. a dope. That's a dope. <laughs> ca- that's a dope caption. Go ahead, man. Get, what you, Get the what joke. So I say, yeah, Maul, I'm here for the joke. I want to hear what you think about the picture of of Rory's. Posture. Well, tell tell the listeners what. No, is this is damn near our cover. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Tell the listener, Rory. Do you, do you see Rory on the side? I've seen Rory twice on the with side. his Paul Wall face. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about blame Lenny S for that. Blame Lenny S for <laughs> what? <laughs> Take a picture. But, no, 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 no. no Ravy took no, no, the no, picture. No, 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 no. Yeah. I didn't, it don't say blame Ravy. Right. B- what am I blaming Lenny S for, who's so happy to be blamed in this picture? <laughs> the fuck is he so happy to be blamed about? <laughs> the f- hey, blame Lenny S for that. Gotta blame Lenny S for that. Something to say? No, y'all get the jokes off. I'm chilling. I didn't I'm completely that. fine with that picture and that caption. I'm so glad. With my friends I'm so that glad I, saw I posted. It here. I didn't see that picture. So Lenny S is your friend? Uh, associate, but everyone else in that picture so, is close so friends. So he's not your friend? 95% so, so of that. So then what are we blaming Lenny S for? <laughs> the picture. The picture. You're not fucking Lenny S's friend. Why are we blaming him for something? I'm asking a valid question. When I read these things, this is what I be wanting to know from niggas. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get to Made in America. Okay. No, they, no, no. They, no. they don't want to answer for blaming Lenny S for that. All right, fine. You tried. No. You gave it a good attempt. I laughed a few times. No, it's there. It's in there. It's in the meat and potatoes. Look, Maul's still looking at the picture. <laughs> There's a lot to Come analyze. Maul, Maul, in the picture. Maul. It's a good picture. I'm just laughing at how every, every guy poses the same in, the, in every picture. Like, this is the pose. Like, niggas pose. Hold their hands. Like <laughs> yeah. That's the pose. That is the pose. Low key is sticking his tongue out of his mouth. <laughs> Are you just making Cam is nice? grabbing his dick. I want to show you what everyone's doing in this picture. They all look like idiots. No? I don't think Cam is. That's, I think it's more oh like this. It's more like this. All right. This all right. Cool all right. Well, let's get to Made in America. You know Rory mean? was there. We have our podcast on the scene yes. live report from Made in America. Did you see Made in America? No. I didn't see either. Did they stream? Was it you could watch it? I don't have title, title anymore. My free oh, my free subscription ran out. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it. I gotta find I a paid new for email. Title. It's on my girl's phone. Yo, yo, <laughs> in the midst of the negotiation, can you ask if they give me a free subscription to title? Oh, yeah, Just make a, too. make a list of all your asks. <laughs> <laughs> Tell well, us hat, about Made in America. Definitely gotta have the hats. Uh, Rory. Uh Made was great. Uh, I had Sean Smith hey, with me on Lenny Sunday. We can blame some of Made in America on Lenny S. Uh Jay dissed you at Made in America. I saw it. So uh, it's your move. It. It's no one's move. It's, it's your move, bro. It's not my move. <laughs> for, for those that don't know, uh, Jay switched stages somehow after his set and then came out to the Pump It Up freestyle and called Joe Sean Bradley again, and he did nothing. That's the greatest diss ever. In front of 50 million people. <laughs> Thanks, Parks. <Parkson. laughs> and Joe is Sean quiet Bradley's as a church, church mouse. <laughs> hey, remember in the group chat when Joe tried to defend Sean Bradley? Yes. <laughs> Fuck, I said he was a Hall of Famer. Yo, that was classic. Classic. Oh, he was nice. Why yeah, you keep like at me, my again. nigga? Like, I'm not even, I'm just laughing, man. Damn. Sorry, Joe. I do remember when I defended <laughs> Sean Bradley. Yeah, Sean yeah. Bradley didn't average a double-double a few years. Yeah, but Joe, you can't. It's just the <laughs> fact that you really it was like you sent it like the next day. You sent his stat sheet yeah, yeah. to the chat. The combo had like, been Joe, over. It was just jokes. Like you really trying to hold us down. Like let it go, bro. You For really real. sent the For stat real. sheet of Sean Bradley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you Googled Why? that shit. Why would you do that? Because niggas told me I was lying. You screenshotted and then cropped it. I said Sean Bradley averaged a double double a few years, mm. and niggas told me I was lying. Okay. 
So you had to go prove niggas. <laughs> it was just jokes. I don't give a fuck. See, but that's, that's why it's funny. Because you really went to the depths. You really like, gave a fuck. Yeah, like, call me Sean Bradley, my G. <laughs> my bad. Fuck that in my fucking group chat. What? Come on, uh, Rory. Is that all you have for hey, us? That, was, that was the highlight. Uh, Chain Smokers, I was told, is a really good live performance. I was a little underwhelmed by it. I saw they the didn't really SNL do too much. or something. They're kind of boring. Uh, Sanfa, who I knew was really talented, I didn't know he played instruments like that. He's a phenomenal performer. He makes sad music, and that shit was live. Hey, blame Lenny S for that. Can we blame Lenny for that one? <laughs> I'm blaming Lenny for everything. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. Was great. It was cool, man. I, I don't know how people have the energy to do those so often, though. People are like serial festival goers. They just travel around at festivals. Everyone's high out of their mind. There's throw up everywhere. People are laid out on the street. There's Rory, no way to Rory, Rory, I kind of you, you are travel. a serial festival. <laughs> yo, it's yo, literally what you do yo, for a what living. What the fuck is going on? Am I in the Matrix? <laughs> what, what festivals have I gone to? Hey, Palooza. That's work. It's a festival. It's, still a festival. Oh, it's not a festival either. Yo, we got to deal with it's not disillusioning. It's not far off. Dis- be people being disillusioned it's, it's about festival themselves. Festival or Jace. It's, it's like, festival vibes. It yeah. is a festival. Yeah, yeah. Ja Rule's performing. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> Cam yeah. performed. That's a fact. Fuck, Young M.A. performed. I've yeah. seen... I yeah. perform. <laughs> <laughs> that's what makes it not a festival because you perform. Yeah, this a is a festival. It's, a festival. it's definitely a festival. Every weekend okay. you guys have cool pictures from Raven. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. work. I'm talking about going to festivals. Am I taking Molly and throwing up? At yes, fucking baby, yeah, bro. Yes. Yeah, yes, that's exactly what you've been doing. I mean, this year you cleaned your life up a little bit, but that I've is, never done that at any. You definitely in my life. have taken Molly and thrown up in a bathroom. I never in my life. So you've never thrown up in a bathroom. I have thrown up in a bathroom. Oh, so you're not better than us. What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> hey, what fucking alcoholics think they're better than niggas? <laughs> we are. <laughs> Shit, that toilet's still the same. All right, so we have nothing to talk about and no more with Made in America. I watched it. I was very impressed with his uh, whole song selection. I'll say that. Yeah, yeah I saw good. the list. It looked crazy. That song selection was great. I heard his transitions were dope, too. They were really good. It didn't hit me how old uh, where I'm from was until... The he trip. kept saying, all right, I'm taking them back with this one. <laughs> I'm like, no, yeah, you're doing the shit. Right. <laughs> you're, no, you're doing arguably a top five song from your discography. Yeah. But then he kept saying it. And I'm like, well, well, oh, well, he yeah, is. We're old, bro. Yeah. It was a good transition and between then he that had and Marcy to, Me. Then he cut it off. Yeah, no. Where I'm from, Marcy Me. It was another uh, New Yorkish record into Empire State of Mind. I mean, yeah. uh, with uh, whatever the name of the song what is. What called me? I don't know if this is accurate, but there was like a list of all the songs and the words that he cut off on, and it always led in. Like I forgot what it was. The Evils went into Lucifer. It was yes. like shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yes, yeah. was, yes, it was yes. very well put that together. Um, he did encore at the end for um, your man from Lincoln Park, which was cool. Yeah. Um, oh, he did that version. Yeah, and then uh, followed by Pump It Up. <laughs> So that was a good transition hey, too. Yo, what's up, <laughs> bro? I, have, I literally have not. I was said happy anything. for you. I'm just saying, why niggas keep all the laughing? I was happy for you, man. But Jay loved that that uh, pump it up freestyle because he cleaned you up. It's a better record. <laughs> <laughs> he was rapping about your dick. He was actually spitting bars. As a 22 year old nigga, to fucking. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we all from Made in America. Nothing else happened there that we need to know about. Uh, Cardi B took pictures of Beyonce. Everybody was really yeah. w- excited about Cardi those pictures. Had, Cardi had all the white people dan- dancing in the mud. She's out of here, man. I'm telling you, everyone oh, yeah, ran wait. to go see Cardi. Rory, your Cardi tweets. Yeah, I've been looking at it a little funny too, man. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> this is crazy. Honestly. I can't like Cardi. I, just because you, you don't I like Cardi. Seen him. I haven't seen his tweets. Parks, have you seen these tweets? Uh, I've seen a couple, yeah. Yeah, I've seen a couple. I've had two, two Cardi, had two Cardi B. I had two Cardi right, B tweets. Uh, what did you tweet? I didn't see it, so I'm. I'm uh, yeah. Oh no 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 no! Uh, I'm about to say. No it. Uh, no nigga, go to the tweet. Joe, okay, I, I remember them. Saved. I know you got them. I, I remember both tweets. Okay, good. I can just say them. Joe. Okay, good. Uh, I said I just watched Cardi B uh, meet Beyonce. I'm never going to hell. Cool, funny tweet. No, nah, give me the other one. I, give me the other I just, one. I actually just paraphrased it. I said <laughs> there's white people dancing in the mud to Cardi B. She's out of here. Okay. Joe coming with all this ammo and it's nothing. Like <laughs> no, Rory, just because you put your cool voice on, that don't make it. <laughs> that don't make it nothing. Why are you headed to twenty eight years old saying, 
I just saw white people dancing to Cardi B. She is out of here. That's the, that's the voice I heard. <laughs> Why are you saying anybody's out of here? That's what's funny, Rory. You've never said that. I have On never On this podcast, said, you've never said someone's out of here? Out of here in caps. It wasn't in caps. Yes, it, it was. was. Yes, it was. It's it's weird. Weird. Yes, it was. On my it's mother's weird. life, it, it was not in caps. Come on, Rory. Don't include your moms. It was in caps. <laughs> it was not in caps. In this story, it was. Yeah, 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 it was in caps. I thought Rory, your jokes were going to be Rory better today. Was in caps. Rory, I was excited these for your are jokes. mad, funny jokes that you're just deflecting and being defensive about. It's too much fraudulent shit in a row. <laughs> He's looking up the tweet right now. It's, wait. And more will wait, wait, tell wait. you. You've made up, you've made up everything I've said, and I'm fraudulent. I didn't see the tweet. your man. The funniest you. part about the tweets to me was that you retweeted them the next day. Did I do that? Yeah, you did that. <laughs> <laughs> you retweeted. I have not tweets. seen any of this. this Go on my timeline. I don't think I did that. Wait <laughs> a minute, yo, Rory. We got to get Rory the fuck out of here. Irish McNasty got to go. You cannot retweet yourself. Hold on. Hold on. Can we talk about your social media I'm over next. this past I'm fucking next. weekend? I'm next. Wait, I'm next. I'm next. <laughs> I'm next. I'm next, I said. Are you crazy? I just said I'm next. Your shit is 30 times worse than anything more and I have ever done on social media, period. Well, clearly. Oh, you got some ammo? Let's, shit, let's get <laughs> This motherfucker, he mad at me for taking a picture with Lenny S, right? Wait, wait. We're not no, off. No, no, no. Of, shut up. We're not off you retweeting yourself. <laughs> okay. No, no, we are. We've moved on. You trying to- No, wait, 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 wait. He retweeted <laughs> himself? <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah, we're not just brushing over this fuck shit you do. Oh, it is yes. Lenny it is, man. This is great. Answer to it. I, all right. I retweeted myself. Now what? <laughs> I've so answered. Now what? Oh, come is on, Is retweeting Ma. yourself like the ad lib? Is it like the delay? <laughs> is it like reverb? You've never, said, you've never said the same thing twice in your life? I don't know. Never. Never, you've never repeated yourself in your life. Ma. I've never retweeted my own tweet, though. Ma, at 27, you got to yeah, say he, something. He retweeted it, yeah. Holy shit, Rory. It's <laughs> lit. <laughs> Yo, Farrell, what? Farrell. <laughs> <laughs> An answer to some of this, Rory. Uh, you've never repeated yourself before? I have never retweeted I myself. I just repeated myself. Don't we judge bitches that retweet themselves? I, I, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's a little So nasty. now, that's a little nasty. Maul, hmm? headed to 28 years old, mm-hmm. how much longer does Rory have to do things like retweet himself? Honestly. I told you, a year and a half. So you want him to be 29? No, he like a right, year and a half puts him at twenty nine. No, he'll no, be, it doesn't. He'll be twenty. He'll be twenty this year or ne- in May, right? I'll be oh, you say a year and, year and a half from now? From, from now, today. yeah. He could get all of this shit off right now and it just be funny. After twenty eight, like towards the end of his twenty eighth year, then we got to really sit him down, like off air. Like Monday, <laughs> you wilding right? I now. do or like he don't fail. think he's wilding at all. I'm not. He's, he he could get it off now. It's it's okay right now. We gonna have the jokes, but it's okay right now. Hey, blame Lenny S for that. Shout to Lenny S. Speaking of, mm-hmm. Joe has just made this case that me taking a picture with Lenny S is nuts. And my caption was nuts. Oh, he's getting to me now. Joe has a picture with DC Young Fly and it's captioned King. I don't even know who that is. Oh, man, Joe. That's not true, is it? It's 100% fucking Where's true. Where is it at? Who's on DC on his Fly? Instagram? Exactly. It's on his Instagram. He's a king, apparently. Do we have the, um, the People's Court theme music? I would love. And, I would love to hear that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to hear the people's court right now. He lied. Y'all niggas worship him. Oh, man, present this to the jur- oh kings. Lied. Come on, dog. Don't do that. Never. You know what's funny about Maul? Said nothing about I, I had to, Y'all bringing me up to date. I haven't seen so we, wait, wait, no, 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 no. we let the same, all of that Rory sucker shit go by, and now we're going to thoroughly no, examine no, the King's no, picture? No, I didn't no, see it. I have to yo, look at it. I have to look at the evidence. Listen, I don't know DC Young Fly. I don't know the gentleman. But to clown someone for taking a picture with Lenny S, and then go and take a picture with DC Young Fly and caption it King's is okay. I don't know who that is. Not going to answer for yourself? Maybe he's a king. Uh, Tip and I were squares in the Hollywood Square Mm -hmm. show taping at VH1. Mm -hmm. Nipsey and Dave East were the contestants. Mm -hmm. We were all joking and having a great time at the end of the set. Mm -hmm. I pulled those three gentlemen to the side. I said, hey, let's all take a picture together. At the end of it, DC Young McFly. I didn't ask for my picture. Who's Who's a comedian? Jumps in the side of the picture. I don't mind it. Go ahead. We're having a good time here. He jumps in the picture. Mm Mm-hmm. 
and I kept my caption. That what I was going to crop them out. I'm that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Am I cropping somebody out? I mean, of the so Am you, I changing the caption? So you were How, so, is he what your the friend? fuck does that have to do with him and fucking Lenny S? Bl- him blaming do Lenny S for a, things. Do you think he's a king? Is he your friend? <laughs> Because you picked one person out of my photo of a bunch of people. So I'm doing the same thing you're doing. This is, I'm so happy I didn't see any of this shit, man, until just now. All right. uh, Maul, are you on Snapchat? Yeah. Did you see his Snapchat while he was in LA? Mm-mm. He calling me industry. This oh, motherfucker has Joe's a industry. million videos with the whole cast of Love and Hip Hop. He's in the studio with Black China. And I can't take a picture with Lenny S. Joe's industry. Roar, you're not comparing you and me, right? He's industry. That's the funny part. <laughs> Is that he is industry. So but he don't do that type of shit. What? Go to we're, we're studio. Talk, we're talking about do Snapchat a bunch of celebrities all fucking night for 48 hours. I Snapchat well, at my birthday. Yeah, I don't know. I Snapchat at my birthday. No, you, you had the camera in everyone's face. Come on. On my birthday? <laughs> you didn't, you're acting like you just took a picture of the cake. You had your fucking camera in everyone's yeah. face in the studio. Hey, look, this person's here. I'm not going to kill him for that because. Roy is crazy. If it was someone that was like, if it was really like nuts. Jay, then okay, I could see that's a little weird. He but can like, blame Lenny S for stuff. Putting black and I can't on the Snapchat snap, on, on my crazy. birthday? Yeah, like. For 24 hours, you had about 55 snaps. <laughs> he lied. We saw the people in the, so how many times do we got to see them? I lied, I don't lie. I'm not rolling with this one. <laughs> I'm mad I missed it. Lied! Do you gentlemen want to talk about uh, um, any any of the weather shit that's about to fuck shit up? Do y'all care about that at all? I Another hope, hurricane. Hope on the, the people of Florida Irma. are prepared. I yeah. love Miami. They're, so. they're in my prayers Indeed. for sure. Yeah, hopefully that it won't be as bad, but it's looking like it's going to be rough. They had a little bit more time than Houston had, so but hopefully they, they could get prepared. Now to, they say this is. Uh, it's at five now. The worst, supposed to be the worst storm since 1980 on the East Coast. They say Florida, D.C., and maybe parts of New York will be affected. It's I love the rain, so I look forward to this shit. Yeah. Uh, praying for everybody in Florida. That's all I can say. But why only Florida? If every, well, if wherever, else wherever is going to be affected. I think Puerto Rico's... Right now, it's definitely Puerto Rico and Florida. It may miss uh, us in D.C. It might hit the uh, Carolinas. Good time to leave Turks. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, it's still going to be underwater. <laughs> yeah, no, that's going to be uh, scary. So prayers, prayers go out to... Uh, Everybody, uh, everybody that will be affected by Hurricane Irma, uh, everybody that's still doing their due diligence with Hurricane Harvey, I feel like I would be remiss to not mention it. Uh, Trump is an idiot still. I won't even talk about all the idiot clips I've seen from him. They were so bad. I wanted I to, I wanted to play yeah, some. They were it. so bad, but and I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. He autographed can't a wall. can't gas that shit. <clears throat> huh? He autographed a wall. What does that even mean? He went to a wall in, in, in Texas Houston? and signed it, yeah. Trump said, "That's crazy." What For are you what? talking about? <laughs> That's your president. Dude. Trump. Trump said that he went to visit. He went to visit all the families who had just lost their homes and and lost loved ones and shit, and they were really happy to see him. <laughs> Trump is wild. Didn't he also say uh, he was happy about the large crowd that came out in Houston yeah. when it was all the victims? Wow. Yeah. Like, wow! Look at this! Look at the look support! At this, yeah. <laughs> The large yeah. crowd that came out because they don't no longer have they homes. Were. They're, they're only out. out. They want answers. <laughs> they can't be in. They have to come out. Right. While we're on this, before I forget, I read in passing that Los Angeles as a city has voted to replace Columbus Day with uh, Indigenous People Day. I read that too. I'm, sure I'm rolling out. with that. That should be national. Yeah. I like that. That's sexy, right? Yeah. yeah. That was score one for will I ever move to Los Angeles? <clears throat> Something that was good to know. Was it the they studio were... with China? You didn't bring the <laughs> race to the you studio didn't bring with China. So Just a race with China. Cardi's out of here though. Just a rap with <laughs> yeah, China. Cardi, Cardi's, Cardi's out of here though. She, she a is, picture with though. a picture with Black China is funny, but Cardi's out of here. She's <laughs> <laughs> in caps. I don't, who is Rory? You can't yo, be. You can't be. You got one minute. You can't be. Yo, you kind of are a Cardi hater. Cardi out of here, and then I'm waiting for someone to test the lyrical warfare. <laughs> the of lyrical killer, warfare. Of killer Mike. Oh my Ooh, god. Will you have it bad? Whoever does that. <laughs> I fit all that on an on Insta snap. Oh man, I saw this I is saw great. It. I'm rolling. Hey, speaking of that too, I had some carryover from last week that I wanted to speak to you gentlemen about. Killer Mike is where on your list? <laughs> <laughs> top 20? <laughs> no, uh, I put Killer Mike top 50. Fab. 
Fab is where on y'all list? Mm. Fab, I mean, y'all, I, I always say he has one of the most consistent careers. Nigga, you know? don't fucking qualify it. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I, Yo, he's at. Well, I always say, man, he been. I got that nigga Fab, 109. Fab I got, got him at 100. Oh, man. and my killer, my killer Mike one <laughs> included music. If we were just talking just rapping. No, 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 no. No, we're talking Every, overall. Yeah, yeah, overall. Everything. Yeah. I think Killer Mike, Mike is, is my it's, top It's too thing. early for me to put him yeah. somewhere higher. Fab, than, even though he's Fab is top 35. Yeah, he's yeah, 40, 40, 30, 30, 40. 40. And yeah. All right, here's one for you. Mace goes where? I said Mace was in my yeah. top, I think 20, I think I said. Uh, 25. Slick Rick goes where? Mm-hmm. 30, 40. Let's stop right here for a second because this is what I did notice when I was watching that Made in America stream from Sin's phone. You tried to kill Rakim last week because Rakim don't do so many of his hooks. Mm-hmm. I ain't trying to kill him. I just asked the question. All right, well, <clears throat> what percentage of Hove hooks would you say Hove has done? Hove, Majority Hove is a, hell no. Hove is a notorious not hook doer also. That used to be the thing. He did two hours of concert without a hook. Yeah, that used to be the thing with Hove. From the producers, I know that if you're going to shop something to, to Hove, think about I'm it. Hook think. The first two hours of that concert, there was not a hook from Hove. He doesn't. Mm, no, nah, it's hard to believe. Well, I'm telling you, I mean, I mean t- it's typically a lot of hits are done with a different hook than the rapper. Yeah, typically. Even the non hook. So hits. this is, he did his hits. For the, most nah, for, for the most part, he did, he did some joints that wasn't his hits. Yeah. Oh, of course, you sprinkle those in, but for like the I wouldn't real say Mar- when he did Marcy Me, he thought he was doing that because it was a hit. Well, he's got no, get, he's got no it's hook. Pra- Where I'm from, no tour. hook. Empire State of Mind, no hook. Fucking uh, all that shit he did early on, there was no hook in none of that. Shit. Yeah, he, don't do that a, hook. he don't do a lot. And of I'm not saying uh, we all agree where Jay is. Hope is number one. We all man. agree where Jay is. So no, yes, number one. I'm just saying that can't be a real knock. That's true. That can't be a knock, really. Not knocking rock him because of that. And last no, one. I didn't, I'm not knocking. Last him. one. Big Daddy Kane goes where? We asked that, right? Yeah. I never did. I don't think we did. I never no, we did. We did Cool G. I we never did Kane. We did Cool G. You're right. You're yeah, right. You're we right. Did Kane. Shit. We did KRS. We, I just want to hear Kane. Kane got to be high just because everyone kind of got their style from Kane. The whole Juice Crew is like the, <laughs> the fucking origin. I say of, Kane is probably top 15. Yeah. You got to. Yeah, you got to put him there. One day I'm making more right as top fifteen one day. You got I'm gonna have three. I'm gonna have three top fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> the VMAs. Um, we discussed it last week, uh, and the ratings came out lowest rated show ever. Still haven't seen it. Shocker. Uh, I mean, they had the Anybody Game of Thrones uh, finale was at the same time. It, it, I mean, it just wasn't a good show, but got to give them some credit for Game of Thrones finale being that night because that's a very popular show. I can't believe MTV still exists. Well, yeah. I mean, outside I'm, I'm, of, I'm, of network, but like music shit. Well, they haven't done that in 20 years. Right. That's what the, I guess the MTV2, well, does MTV2 even have music anymore? Or are they just dropping them down to four, five, six, seven? <laughs> they're just, and they're just going to keep giving the lowest one to music videos? Yeah. Yeah, I mean. I'm confused by MTV's programming. Uh, I'm confused by MTV. What do you think? What was, what was the uh, <laughs> transition? Real thinking? World, you think, was the transition yeah, of right when they started? The, the one with the. Uh, when they're in the um, RV. You know why I'm confused, Maul? Because what? for the past two years, I'm not going to blame Game of Thrones this year with MTV because last year they decreased uh, monumentally in viewership. Oh, they're certainly declining, but a so, lot of people watch Game of Thrones. I know, but I'm, looking, I'm not basing this off one year. I'm looking at the past several years. It's been an enormous decline, and I'm not attributing all of that to Game of Thrones. They seem to target... a. I call it the Instagram awards. They seem to target a young audience. That's fine. This is the misconception I believe exists in the industry. I believe that the industry feels it only has to target the young people. Mm. Period. Mm. I'm talking about when you put an album out, when you want you put your videos out, when you're making your songs, these award shows. The music industry thrives off of the young 18 to 25-year-old demo. I challenge that by saying... Any successful act, name them. Name anyone you want. The ones that are winning have the kids and the adults. Both of them. Right. So why would you v- totally ignore your adult demo and think that well, your ratings are going to increase? That's my question. Also, to your point, young people don't 
watch really TV. watch cable TV yeah. like that anymore. The older people <clears throat> yeah. are the That's only my, people that are. Man, the young right. niggas watch this shit on their phone. They yeah. turn the app on. They ain't Netflix, got time to sit there. Shit. They're not sitting through two hours of anything. Yeah, the commercials. Yeah, young people don't watch commercials. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, that is interesting. All right, so that's not that's not a shocker there. All right, here's a shocker. All right, <laughs> here's the kicker. What? Here's the shocker. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm, we talking. I'm I'm segueing out of that now. I'm done. I'm off of that. I want to talk music with you, gentlemen. Um, I no. I want to talk power. But okay. in power, has anybody heard uh, Dre's album? No. Rotimi's album. Oh, no. I have. It's good. I heard it's good though. I haven't heard it. Yeah, it's a solid project. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't say I had anything predicting going in, but just off the strength of power, I watched it or uh, listened to it, and I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> so it worked. <laughs> this guy here, hold up. I'm gonna just play like the this. whole project too. It's not like one or two records that are good. It's a solid project. Yeah, I think. And thank God, because he's about to get clapped. I think Amani wrote Amani wrote some of the songs himself, <laughs> and he's not telling us. This Got is that hard. NDA. Hold up. Can't stop about shit that we had. I know that you mad. All right, no. Let me give you my Rotimi story. Mm-hmm. He was in the you studio on your me. birthday. Were you? With, you might have been. You had to be with me. Two. Somebody was with me. Amani Parks. Somebody was there. Damn it. Three years ago, I want to say South by Southwest. Saturday night-ish, everyone's having a blast. Mm-hmm. If you've been to South by Southwest in Austin, Texas, you know that the, the atmosphere that's there, you kind of are, are hopping around. And in the nighttime, when, when we were, as we were hopping around, we walked in a bar. And it was a bar club, so it was a club attached to the side. And we walked in deep, so I don't know who was there. And on the stage was Rotimi. And he was uh, in the he was oiled down in the safari oil. <laughs> safari oil. And he was gyrating his hips. <laughs> and he had backup dancers. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with anything that I just said, except for the fact that he plays such a hard character on TV. So I was confused. Right. And that was how <laughs> I learned of Rotimi's singing career. Mm-hmm. And that was the end of that. And I clowned him for the next year about it. Does he do the hook on the intro? The intro to his album? No, it's a power. The big response. No, that's Joe. That's Joe? Okay. Yeah, no, that's Joe. But so I, I clowned him in my head, but I was always waiting to hear a project from him. And I guess now with his character role increasing in the show, he puts this project out. And as a nigga who's supposed to get clapped on the show, this is a really good <laughs> fucking this is good r and I don't know if him, Amani, somebody has to get credited here <laughs> for how this sounds. Well, he's probably got a nice budget. Maybe. He's is he signed? No, but he's got... Who well, he has money. signed anymore? Mad, <laughs> mad people. You'd be surprised. That's true. <laughs> I'm mad sure people. you would know all of them. <laughs> I'm gonna, Just blame Lenny S for it. He does have a show called Signs. <laughs> Trash, by the way. And that show, if y'all want to talk about it. Rick yeah. Ross on VH1. I haven't had a to talk to about watch. it. Do y'all really want to get to the bottom of it? I feel like I've never seen it. Don't it. Don't we'll talk about it. You feel like sometimes you're not in the plan. You say I'm not there enough and I know deep inside you might feel like you're sharing your man. I'm playing this because it sounds great and it's from Dre. It's only two minutes long. But it's from this sounds... Rotimi, not Dre. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Come on. I feel like that's going to be a hard thing for him to get over, though. Yeah. Unless they kill him soon. Well, they can't kill him soon. Now they have just set up to build the whole season five around this nigga. I mean, yeah, he's about to be the next kingpin, if you will. Right. So oh, wait, just the part. Let the bridge play. We fight and fuss and fuck. That's what we do. We break up and make up. That's what we do, baby. So don't you act like this is something new. Cause this been us, girl. This is what we do. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. And I don't expect that from them. Now, power. What's up? What, up? what about it? It's over. So look, can we can find, we can let's do it. It's bad still. It, let's do you it. You think it's over for power? No, no, no. I'm saying now that the season is over. Oh, I was gonna say. Now we can really. <clears throat> no, nobody saw. Uh, accurately assess how horrible this season was. Nobody saw uh, Tommy's car peel off. 
What you mean? None of them niggas that was standing in front of that hotel, wherever they was at. Didn't, <laughs> didn't see that old school oh, blue yeah, car yeah, yeah, yeah. peel off. Yeah. Angela didn't see nothing. Bust that hard right. And have, none of them niggas looked. I have he, yo, he kind of pulled off. Questions. He pulled off on like five different people in that last episode that know him and his car. And he's got an old ass <laughs> recognizable car. That shit, yeah, man. He's the only nigga in the city with that car. Uh, Can and y'all? shit. I had read on Twitter. Someone was like, I can't with power anymore. No one could find this much available parking to exactly where you're going in New York City. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> Like, That's a fact. This shit don't make That's sense. Funny. That's funny. That uh, can y'all funny. tell me how season one of Power ended? I don't remember. Oh, Ghost lost the club. All right, mm-hmm. season two of Power ended. How? Jail. What is this? Ghost for? No, 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 no. Season two, they made it seem like he was about to beef with Tommy in season three. Oh, yeah. Season yeah, three yeah. is when him and Fifty had the fight at the end, and season four. No, I think you mixed those up. Oh, I mixed something up. up. Yeah, I mixed yeah. something up. If, 50 if, was two seasons. My point yeah. still stands. My point is, y'all telling me that a show that has ended that way in the past ended with just a still shot, a still scene of Ghost, Tom, Ghost uh, Tommy and mm-hmm. Kanan in a car saying we're going to get that nigga and then fade to black. Honestly, that's what y'all want me to believe and accept here at the end of the season here. Honestly. Oh, spoiler alert, by the way. I mean, I saw that. How I said, I said they was going to team up. Them three was going to get back together. I'm interested in. I don't. It I don't think. For, for I don't. I don't. I, I think that Power had more episodes. I do. I believe Fifty Cent. I do not believe that Power wrote this season to play out this way and end with the ending that they gave us. I don't believe that. And if that's mm-hmm. what they did, granted, this was the best episode of the season. But this season was trash. This entire season, we watching all of this fuck shit. Now at the last episode, all of a sudden, everybody could just hit the text and meet up in the heights. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> honestly, tell, tell that me. That shit was wild. Honestly. And, and she said, uh, Angela said, I can't give you the exact address, but like I'll give you the area. And she pull up right to the fucking right. apartment. Every, mind you, everyone knows the exact apartment number. That was right. another thing that was funny to me. JJ in the heights. <laughs> Tariq in the Heights, Tommy and Ghost and Kanan and the Angela. Everybody is in the Heights. The whole season, we couldn't find nobody. But now, well, they, they let's get to that. And all these niggas found parking in the Heights. Yeah. Right. They heard about and the Heights. And you can Airbnbs. never find parking in the There's fucking Heights. I've seen niggas double park overnight in the Heights. <laughs> now, some people are calling Rory like Rory Domus. That's a play on Nostradamus. It might have been trash, but whatever. Yeah, They're calling Rory it. some type of psychic nigga because Rory guessed the ending. Rory, Rory, Rory saw the leaked episode. Yeah, he did. He I told did me. not see the leaked episode. You told me yeah, you did. did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did You've just been it. lying on me. Yeah, no, you're full of lies. <laughs> <laughs> you're full of lies. I'm blaming Lenny F for that. Oh, <laughs> this guy is crazy. Rory definitely told me he saw the leaked episode. I but never that... said that. We talked about it and I said, I'm not watching something on a fucking cell phone on a cell phone. You definitely said you watched it. I you were, didn't. You, were you on read a, the comments. He said least. he was on a plane and he watched it. He he watched I comments. never said. What, yo, you really just make shit up in your head. He saw a tweet. I was on the plane and watched Power. That's what you're saying I said? Yes. All right. So I'm going to go with the other theory of you accurately guessed every episode. I didn't. I, I guessed <laughs> you one can. part. And you can. I guessed one part. I said Reek's character is come, becoming this really bad person. The only way to really get him on the other side is if he kills somebody. He got to kill somebody. Nah, you said he was going to pop Ray Ray. Yeah. Well, you uh, also predicted something else. In Rory's no, defense, that's the, that's the it's not like it's been exactly It hasn't been hard. I'm saying, yeah. Because <laughs> like, I, thought, I thought Tommy or Ghost doing it was way too fucking, like, that's stupid. We know they could kill people. Them killing that is right. mad unclimactic. That's why you got to stop lying, too, at this age, because you forget, I'm not you're forgetting your lies. <laughs> and that's, how am I forgetting my lies once you start forgetting your lies it's over for your lying career that's when I had to start being honest <laughs> what, what, what if I lied it wasn't, about it wasn't because I wanted career. to tell the truth <laughs> I just could no longer remember the lies a, a chick asked me some shit that she had just asked me five months ago and that was the end of life right. oh, might as well tell the truth now <laughs> you can't remember five months ago nigga you don't deserve to lie <laughs> um, so I'm not excited about this next season I know. I know. All I wasn't. Shit. I wasn't mad at the ending. I was mad at this season. So if they get the writing back on track, I think Dre versus the three of them back together could be cool. If they get back on what they did with, I'll the watch it, season. but it still sucks. I wasn't mad at how it ended. I, I'm. I'm looking forward to the next season. 
Only because I want to see Lorenz Tate's character. Like he be talking to ghosts kind of crazy. You want to see if he got some Supreme on, right? Nah, but the nigga, the nigga, <laughs> the nigga, he be talking to, he be talking to, he be talking to ghosts, and ghosts be like, he got to take. I don't know what he has on ghosts. Like, but ghosts, like he can't talk crazy to him for some reason. I don't even know Lorenz Tate character's Lorenz, name. What is his Lorenz name? Tate, character's name? Lorenz Tate. Okay. <laughs> nah, it is. <laughs> it is like Lorenz. Congressman Tate or some shit. It's like. It's kind of wild. It's definitely his last name. Lorenz, last Lorenz, name. Lorenz Tate, so. Bokeem Woodbine. It's a few niggas that y'all just y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Bokeem Woodbine yeah. is always going to be Bokeem yeah. Woodbine. Yeah. There's a few move. of y'all that's Wood always. Kane is all, Wood, Harris. Wood Harris. Come on, that's Wood Harris, man. <laughs> I don't care what you call yourself in the movie. You Wood Harris. Yeah, that's you, nigga. <laughs> right. That's Tyrese. That's, that's <laughs> always, always Tyrese. <laughs> That's, That's never not been Tyrese. Why Tyrese think that ain't him? <laughs> right. That's you, nigga. I don't care about that Jody shit you talking about. At all. Uh, damn, something else funny I was just about to talk about. What the fuck was important? Shit, Luda's always him. Everyone in Fast and the Furious is them. Sure. The Rock, Vin Diesel. Yes, yeah, fact. <laughs> Luda Chris. Yo, I don't you know, all them. Hey, I don't know how y'all fans let Luda get away with leaving hip hop this way. <laughs> that nigga. You started seeing that shit. <laughs> no, no, I know why he left. Okay. I don't see how the fans let him... Stick the middle finger up and say, fuck y'all, I'm out. Mm -hmm. And now just be seen looking mad lathered with big diamonds on and nice suits. Yep. Yeah. As a ludicrous <laughs> fan, I would have beef with that. Mm -hmm. All right, but that wasn't out of topic. I was just all for the tangent. <laughs> Let me see. What else is there to talk about here? Let's talk about uh, what everybody on the internet wants to know about. Oh, shit. Well, what? we didn't. I meant to open with Kiki Wyatt. Oh, so talk about it. About what? Well, what does what everyone is, on the internet want to know? Oh, no, I need the aux. They want to know why Joe wasn't at the uh, show in Chicago. Slaughterhouse show. Mm. Is that what the internet why is saying? Why don't God's green earth would Joe be at that show? You're part of Slaughterhouse. I, I know. So it should have been promoted that I wasn't going to be there. Everybody knew I wasn't going to be there. The fellas knew. The the gig knew. No, the I mean, I'm talking about the fans. But no, hey, you want the, the group. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Royce and Joel and Cricket yeah, yeah. show up like No, but oh. stop. That's what I'm asking. But then again, you have But that's that. what I'm asking y'all. <laughs> what I'm saying to y'all is, in one of those instances, the onus is on who to let it be known. Well, that wouldn't I mean, be the first time a promoter lied. No, no, no. I'm not <laughs> saying that they lied, but I'm just saying Slaughterhouse was there. No, it, I just wasn't not, there. No, and that's but, but that was promoted that way. I would think it's on somebody else. But to even say if it Joe was, was not here. But even if it was, promoted, I'm not gonna say that. Wait, hold he on, because I thought about China. it. But I'm not gonna say that because that gets misinterpreted as Joe is uh, at a discourse with Slaughterhouse or Joe is stopping the sales of the show. That me saying it causes just dis dis disruption. No, I understand that before him, but I'm just saying that's not gonna stop the fans for wanting to know why you weren't there. Even if it's promoted that you're not going to be there, they still want to know why. Well, what part of retired don't people understand? But okay. you was just in the studio with China at that time, at Re the same time. Recording what, Rory? It's a new Slaughterhouse. I don't house. know. New Slaughterhouse. You, had, you had some beat playing. <laughs> you had a beat playing? <laughs> yeah, it was beat playing the whole time. And it was on a loop, so I know someone was writing something. So mm. Rory watched it a lot. <laughs> What's that super group mm. called? Oh, my God. Ooh, parks. <laughs> <laughs> parks. 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 Joe see Berg in China. Par parks. Oh, God. <laughs> I, 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 see, I see what you're trying to do here, Parks. That sounds like a great restaurant. Mall. <laughs> Joe Berg in China. Joe Berg in China. <laughs> that's going, a, a hamburger going, Chinese spot. I'm going to Joe Berg in China. <laughs> Joe Berg. <laughs> Holy shit. You are Joe Berg in China from now on. <laughs> <laughs> that's, your, that's your handle. Joe Berg in China. Wait, Joe Berg wait. in China. Joe Berg in, fi <laughs> in China got fire steaks and shit. That's, Yo. that's Joe true. Berg in China? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm going. Rory's definitely going there and posting a picture oh, yeah. with some corny caption. Joe Berg in China. These satays are out of here. <laughs> <laughs> These satays. These satays are fucking out of here. Do y'all know that Rory FaceTimed me when Hov was performing the Pump It Up <laughs> remix? Can I tell That's you? dope. You're a good friend. I know. I thought I was being a good friend. <laughs> Yo, y'all give Rory so many passes. Nah, that man. was dope. That was dope. Yo, Joe. Fam, you FaceTime me when you was Joe in your Joe think crib. everything oh. Rory do is just the corny. <laughs> <laughs> Which is crazy because I'm Ma, like. Wait. I would no, no. I would Ma, never do that. So, I would thank never. You, I would Ma. never FaceTime you while anybody's performing. But I, I, I don't understand. even know. I understand Ma's why Rory has it. FaceTime. No, my phone. Joe, you FaceTime me from your crib t two weeks ago, and I said, "Why you fuck are you FaceTime me?" I was in Turks. I FaceTime face, audio me. I was FaceTiming. I, I, you didn't have that option available. I tried nine <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I didn't want to look at you either. He tried to WhatsApp me. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I yeah. FaceTime. I'm trying to talk to niggas. Yo, for some reason, like on a low FaceTime, if you face if FaceTime is becoming more normal with with men like FaceTime your, your, with men, with I've your niggas that. though, like your homeboys. Yeah, I'm, I'm noticing. I'm still that. not. I'm. I can't. I do don't it. do it very often though. I'm noticing that. Like to. niggas would rather FaceTime they nigga than be on a phone. I have a couple phone, friends who prefer to FaceTime, and it's kind of weird. I don't. It's why? Weird. I don't need to I don't look know. at you either. Yeah. All right, y'all ready for this? We're ready for this. Now. This is one of those podcasts where I really hate to bring up certain shit because it's like just all men. And I feel like all men should never talk about certain things. So this is Kiki Wyatt. Know something, America? When you eight months pregnant. She's crying. And you got a child sick in and out of the hospital. Her husband wants a divorce. your husband got the nerve to tell you that he wants a divorce. It sounded mm-hmm. like the City High song off rip though. <laughs> because. <laughs> what would you do? Your son was at home crying all night. And he says on the that you're floor. an emotional. He says that you're I'm an not emotional wreck. Y'all. He says that. Look, he says you're an emotional wreck. From the very beginning, you, I, you never trusted me and all that kind of stuff. Like. Yeah. She calls or like what? Like I am so done with Michael Jamar. Y'all can have him and roast his ass. I don't care. That, that really flipped on her. <laughs> now. So she started out crying. That sounds like a her problem, not a uh, And then ended it with y'all could, y'all could roast the shit out of him. I saw a lot of women. You know women always want to stick up for women. Anytime there's a woman around, women just stick up for him. Yeah. All men are trash. Somebody's got to defend men's rights here. What did the gentleman do wrong by just requesting for a divorce? <laughs> Privately. But, yeah. but, <laughs> but, but man, man, man is, is he in the wrong about that? <laughs> no, but what's I'm funny is with you. he's divorcing her for everything that people have said about Kiki Wyatt for the past 15 years. When I said that, Maul, the women tried to crucify me. And I, then I thought it was because of my past. So I just shut up because I was right. scared. <laughs> right. But people, Kiki Wyatt's whole career said she's an emotional wreck. Yeah. She stabbed a nigga. Yeah. Well, what she was just doing right there was an emotional wreck. She stabbed a man. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm not saying that she wasn't well to the right. I don't know. I wasn't there. But right. that could be classified as an emotional wreck. Oh, here's another one. The husband is a pastor. Well, oh, I mean, yeah. he's fed up. He just. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You trying to paint the pastor as just a nigga that's just but walking that, out on, on you now. Just because he's a pastor don't mean he's a great guy. So we don't know. But. If he's if she said that he's he's saying that she's an emotional wreck, that goes with the narrative what has been we on have her. Heard about yeah, Kiki for, Wyatt her, her label has said for, she's an emotional for the wreck. Past Thirty years. Yeah, yeah. Avant said what? she's an emotional. Wreck. Amazing voice. She's an amazing. Singer, what do you though. think people's end goal is when they do things like that? Like put their personal life so out there to get it off their That's chest. That's the new era to get man, people to a, to agree with them. That's the new era. Validity we in, on their on their side. Yeah. This is the new era we in. I'll never know the goal. I'll never know the goal. I mean, she you you do a lot them. of you done a lot of personal life shit in the public and music, yeah. I always felt well. I always did it because I felt like it was an advantage that I had over other MCs because every everybody else was lying. So no, who else was going to turn the camera on in their house? Who mm-hmm. else was going to show you their girlfriend? Who else was going to these niggas just talking about it, but they're not going to really show it. Mm-hmm. So if I don't have a label, I'm thinking of all the one ups I can get, and that was a one up for me. It being worked. able to turn the camera on at mm-hmm. any point in time because I wasn't lying. Yeah, it, okay. def- it definitely so, worked. Very logical end goal. This is not that. <laughs> this I'm, is I'm not a, Joe Budden TV. I'm thing. assuming that, I'm assuming, I'm assuming he's not responding to her texts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm sure safe. that she's probably texting pretty emotionally. <laughs> you know what else was emotional and I don't have the clip right here but oh that man that video was emotional no no everything about this is emotional but there's uh, so Beyonce's dad did a video just, did y'all see it to say happy birthday to Beyonce no I didn't see it yeah, yeah I'm sure there was a bunch of memes he was pleading his love and happiness for Beyonce on her birthday and wanted her to know that him along with the city of Houston loves her and wishes her a really happy birthday and he started crying in the middle of all of this What's wrong with that? Yeah, I don't see a problem here. Do y'all know the backstory between 
the relationship of, between Beyonce and her dad. No, I guess it's I a little strained. <laughs> strained. It's no. a little strained. So my point is, when people do stuff like that, Beyonce is probably not responding to her dad's text. No. They're probably not speaking. <laughs> yeah. they may That's have, my they, point. They may have made amends. You don't know. No. Not if that video is happening. How so? Her mother did, the, did that. She put her out mother's with her every day. Uh, and her mother does that whatever, every single day. There was some video that came out There was huge recently, fallout and it, and it about was a, everything having to do with Matthew Knowles. Don't talk about us. Don't speak about You've dragged us. There was a, <laughs> in the Lemonade movie, there was a clip of him with Blue. So they the could have made the old clip, uh, whatever clip it was. Yeah, I don't know what happened, so I, I'm I'm not that. Well, th- I think my point on, when you beefing with mother. when you when, ah, okay. listen on my birthday, I, wouldn't it be weird if I go on Instagram and Maul is saying happy, happy birthday crying. in a video <laughs> crying? <laughs> crying. <No, I>, yeah. <laughs> Maul has my number. No, that Maul's wouldn't be weird. Crying Maul can text it to me. Happy birthday, Joe. Why do you have this Oreo shit on? Why do you look extra fancy today? What is this? It's like I got a baseball jersey, some sneakers. The hat there. matches the sleeves. Yeah, it's kind of. Uh, you dress you're like not going crisscross. Hunting. It's got Oreos. You wear a lot of hunting gear. It's like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like the third week in a row. Hmm. Oh, the, oh. Mo definitely shops at Outdoor World. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> What's the name of them camper, them camper stores we be going into? Oh, I'm uh, letting you know. I'm, 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 I'm chilling today, man. I'm like. <laughs> It's like uh, <laughs> okay. It's like it's like wallpaper. Thank you. All right, that's here cool. we go. All right, fine. no, it's uh, that's cool. Wallpaper, huh, Pox? It's wall. I, mean, I like wallpaper. It's oh, bathroom wallpaper. wallpaper. Oh, all right. Nah, it's like grandpa <laughs> grandpa wallpaper, but it's cool. It's Orioles. I feel like every week Maul's outfit is doing something that I should know about if I was cool. Right. Like what? I'm, I'm sure that that hat is like a one of zero that no. matches the sleeves no. that Dante Jones gave you <laughs> and signed. <laughs> sleeves? <laughs> Wait, why is Dante Jones signing your baseball jersey? <laughs> An Oreo jersey. Oh, man, it has nothing funny. to do with nothing. That's funny. All right, in passing, I'm going to say that, all right, I might think that Lux just lost to Arsenal. I might think that. I, I want to talk about that. I, might, I, I, might I don't think, think he that. did. I might think I'm not ready to go okay. with that yet. Right. I have to watch it some more. Lux just I, I'm gonna tell you what it is. It, Lux, I know he's different. He goes yeah, over niggas' it's, heads. It's niggas don't get it. That man. was a different they Arsenal too, it. though. No, Arsenal did his thing. Don't get it. He definitely did his thing, but it's not what what people were saying before the video came out. Like it was in my head, like damn, Lux got his ass kicked, whatever, whatever. But then when I'm looking at it and I'm listening, I'm like, I don't think he got his ass kicked. I'm not gonna say he got his ass kicked. Because people were saying he got 3 0 and all this other shit. Um, let's not get ridiculous. I'm just saying that's what people were telling me. Lux can't out. get 3 0 unless Mook is there. Lux, Lux he just, he, Lux got to, he got to, he got to, he got to just leave Battle Rap. Where, where is Battle Rap now? I feel like it got super it's quiet. It's finished. It's finished. And it's, it's so weird because it was on such beneath, a peak. Though. It was so, like, I thought it was. It was rapidly growing and yeah. then it just rapidly. Well, they started, they started doing too many different, like the double team, the tag team yeah, That shit. shit is weird. No, it was dead before that. It, it just got That little... was them trying to add a spike of life into it. It was dead before that. Yeah, but that spike definitely killed it, though. Like, that was what? like the, the stake in the... So, wait, what happened? Was it people retired? Did people retire? That, like, nah, well, it's... I have a theory. I do have a theory. Let's hear it. My theory on that is... Once that fucking summer madness happened where they paired the old niggas against the new niggas, right? And once Lux and Hollow and Mook and certain gentlemen started to demand a certain price point, mm. hey, we about to see it now. Homeboy that just fought McGregor all the times and made it real interesting. What's his name? I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't know. UFC dude? UFC dude. Yeah, he know. said, the next time I fight, $20 million for me. That's it. Yeah, because he knows the pay per view numbers are going to be insane. That boy, no, 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 no. If he's fighting McGregor, all McGregor's pay per view numbers are going up now. But what I'm saying to you is the ripple effects of that Mayweather mm-hmm. McGregor fight mm-hmm. is going to be people that maybe don't demand that should not have that number. You seen in the NBA now that don't mm-hmm. shouldn't have that yeah. number. Yeah, are demanding that number. So now in battle rap, when Mook was asking for fifty and seventy five. Mm-hmm. When Hollow was getting 50 and 75. Mm-hmm. When Lux is getting 50 and 75, Clips now is taking what? Surf now is taking what? Mm-hmm. Like, so the prices that niggas started to ask for, you price yourself out the game. Smack now is fighting with niggas because he ain't trying to pay him along with losing his effing sponsorship. That goes unsaid too. Mm-hmm. I mean, not effing. Uh, Ciroc. 
Not Ciroc. He had the Ciroc other for one. a while. It was it was a new one because they came to me. Oh, I'm not sure then. It was they came to me too for it was only that vodka. His spirit won. And he started every battle with that fucking vodka. <laughs> but then they left and they were backing a lot of shit. Now who's paying for all of these battles right. at these price points? Right. Mm. How, how that, much is a ticket to Summer Madness? I don't know, but I mean, if you want to talk about it, and all of them niggas are my niggas, but unless the battles are amazing, it's not the most enjoyable experience if you're in the building. Right. You're well, hungry. You're not going to buy drinks it's, it's particularly. It's a long time. Like, it's no bar. I mean, it's you You should only be there if you love what's happening on now, stage. all of these go through Smack's YouTube page, right? Hey, that's the other thing. Because No battle rapper I would had want the that, sense. I would want that price. No battle rapper had- You can had, monetize. That's a shit ton of fucking views. No yeah. battle rapper had the sense to say, hey, I want to monetize my YouTube yeah. shit with you, Smack. Right. That should have been said. The All of these idiots was running around talking about, I got 30 million views. Right. I got 25 and, million and views. Not, and not, and you not broke. to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not yeah. under your page. It's under Smack. Smack shit. Yeah. don't care about. Hey, it ain't been a summer madness in a little while. Smack don't care. Yeah. Hey, Smack, my nigga. Nor bees. These I love all these guys, but let's right. call a spade a spade. I follow most of the battle rappers back from when battle rap was thriving. Right. I'm looking at their tweets. They're all trying to start a league. They're all dissing Smack. They're all dissing. They diss each other. Right. So yeah. how's it gonna get popping? Right. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. no organization. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just it's not looking good for battle rap. But for how much views they were getting, asking for fifty thousand dollars for a battle is you're actually being lowball. Like you're worth more than that. My nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Fifty k. But it's like it's yeah. Just, but when you bust that shit down all the different ways, like I can see why Smack or whoever was in charge of it was. Like, oh, I'm not this saying everyone get fifty k. No yeah. But like a mook at one point. Yeah, but if you have I don't a think it's crazy even asking. Four guys getting fifty k. Like that's a big nut to. And you know what? Out. These battle rappers. Niggas got to put shit in proper perspectives. Say what you want about Mook. He's on like a 16-round win streak. Mm -hmm. That's not debatable. Start at the Iron Solomon battle. That was like what? And then rounds? tell me when he's lost a round since then. So when Mook say, give me 75 grand, as somebody who's been battling since fucking 99, right. <clears throat> he's, pay, he's paid his dues. Right. Yeah. I, again, I said I don't think it's far fetched. He, he, he's to ask for the I don't think it is either. When Lux but come, I can, I can understand why the the powers that be, the people that are hosting it, like now you're paying a quarter million dollars out to you know up front, which yeah, yeah. you're not recouping at the door. Hey, and then let's keep it above. Niggas fell off. Yeah, Niggas no. fell off. Niggas stopped showing up with rounds. It was a time when clips came through with with, and the joke was he don't have a third round. Fucking B Magic. It was a time he fumbled nine battles in a row. Fucking Big T fell off. I mean. Mm -hmm. I never like to talk battle rap here because ain't no bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've too, after slandering old girl and now moving on. I don't like rap. to talk oh, no, about no. anything where the bitches don't like it, and I don't even like to. I don't even call bitches bitches no more at thirty seven with a kid coming. <laughs> well, if they so stop tuning the in, women, yeah, I might, the women ain't trying to hear about Arsenal and Lux, but I'm, I might think that Arsenal won. That is what I'm saying. I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. I'm watching. I'm, not mad at that. I'm gonna watch it again. He didn't get three old though. Lux did yeah, not no, get no, three no, old no. though. Let's, let's not be fucking facetious here. All right. Uh, how much football do we want to talk? I can't believe that we've got to opening week in football and we have yet to discuss fantasy at all. I, I haven't done a accept, draft. Can you guys accept the yeah, league? Yeah, please. I'm, Park, I'm Parks, in it. Parks is waiting for us to leave now. I was sitting there at 3 o'clock on Sunday because that's when the email said the draft was and no one was in there. I was like, oh. I, I set my team up uh, yesterday. I'm waiting on a text from Ice. I almost, nah, I look. almost got into fantasy football this year, but oh, you gotta do it this year. Maul does fantasy basketball. Oh, uh, get into basketball. football. Don't you, you gotta got... do that shit like every day? You can yeah, set your lineup for the week. Yeah, but... you can set your lineup for the yeah, week. Come on, man. Football is it's easier. Foot fantasy it's football, fun. though. It is. Plus, the shit talking is just epic. We got fucking 15 spots left because no one wants to accept. Uh, the email, I'm gonna go except for me and Parks. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to accept the email. I think Rye Guy's in there, too. Yeah, Ryan's in there and Ice. Yeah, that's yeah. that's it. I'm going to accept the email. Yeah, Fantasy football is a big deal, though. It's dope. It's dope. That shit is a very big it's deal. It's fun when you do it with your friends. I have, oh, yeah. Wait, who the Pats got opening week? I only want to talk to niggas uh, about their teams. Give me the Pats and the Dolphins opening weeks. I'm picking the Giants. I'm Hey, this year, oh, let me be clear with, with everybody. Good thing we're talking about this. I am keep, about to I'm keeping the same way we keep the sleeper picks I'm keeping the tallies. I'm keeping our guesses on whatever we're about to guess for oh, the season. Y'all can follow Patriots, my numbers. My numbers, are, my numbers are good. Yeah, I think mine are pretty good, too. Uh, I'm, we got I'm, Kansas City. 
That's a tough Ooh. matchup. That's Thursday too. I knew that. Yeah. Where we're at? It's uh, in New England because they won. Of course, they raised yeah, the, the banner of and all that shit. You're picking the Pats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or are you picking the Pats? Yeah, I'm picking the Pats. I'm one. picking the Pats too. Yeah. And I'm picking uh, the Giants. Against, I'll against go the even further. Prediction: I got. I have Giants Patriots in the Super Bowl this year. That was Giants, one of my Patriots. picks. That's one of my picks. I think we're getting. We might get part three. Giants Patriots. Yeah. Maybe I Maybe. have to see the Giants. Yeah, I got to see the Giants. I don't trust them like that. They have that. no running game, so it's. I don't know that yet. The they running, got, uh, the running back boy, that's starting. Shane no, no. The running back that's starting is the running back. Uh, I forgot his name. Uh, Rashad Jennings. <laughs> no way. He was injured last year, but he's the one that we like. Onark Odwar or Noir. Oh, the dude. Uh, he's got like an African name. I think, I think he's starting. He and we good. like him. It's the line. I can't judge a running back. That line is trash. Yeah, I got to see Eric that. Flowers. I'm just not talking about the Giants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, when you go from what, Loaded Lux to Eric Flowers. I have to see losing, what Eric Flowers and Dell, what Dell are talking about. Dell. We Del. open against yeah, he's the Bucks. I like the Bucks this year. I like the Bucks too this year. I like the Bucks. That's going to be a That's my sleeper. Game. And Irma is, might fuck that shit up, so I don't know what's going to happen week one. So where Where's that game? Miami. Or I think Miami is going to be better than people think. We just have a, fan, right? Yeah, we have a really tough schedule. But other than that, I think we got to play KC. We got to play Tampa Bay, Saints. Fucking Good luck. tough schedule, yeah. Patriots twice. Good luck. But we do get the Bills and the Jets twice. Those should be four gimmies. Should yeah, be four. Should be. Could get the wild card. Got it last year. So. That's why we play the game. I, and I, I have to do my fantasy draft. I have no idea who to draft. I don't know anything. My fantasy teams have been trashed the last two years. Whatever. Yeah, I don't do research ahead of time. I just go into it. <laughs> Are we putting money down this year? I forgot, I forgot the rules that could, I set up. Yeah, it don't matter. Well, I'm unemployed, so. <laughs> I'm cool I'm playing that. for free. <laughs> did, I bring up, for the shit talk. did I bring up Narcos at all? No. I didn't see the new one yet. No, you didn't. I meant to bring up Narcos when we were talking about uh, Power. None of y'all have watched uh, Narcos? Season three? I only seen one episode. No. I, I, watched, I, saw, no, I saw season one, or uh, episode one last night, but that's all about. All right, so listen to this. I want to offer my most humble apologies to anyone involved in season three. I, like many other people, I was a little disattached when Pablo died, man. I, I really didn't give a fuck. Right. I didn't care. And I even went as far as to turn on episode one, watch the whole thing, and then really not rush back to episode two. That didn't really make me, you know what I mean, get with the story they were trying to. They are bodying season three of Narcos. Oh, wow. This shit is probably, I'm not ready to stand on this. It's one, wait, no. It's 100% better than one of the first two seasons. Wow. That is a fact. Wow. They are bugging on season three. Now, that don't start until after character development. Okay. And after they've done that, yeah. So I think I'm not alone in people owing Narco Season 3 an apology for really being off of it after Pablo died. Me and mm-hmm. Sin are not the only ones. And they are killing Season... So much so... I'm going to be mad when it's over. I got two episodes left. I'm at Episode 8. The only thing I hate about Narco is it's all in Spanish, and my Spanish isn't that good. So you got to really like... Uh, listen, a- read. Accor- so I- according to Sin, their Spanish ain't that yeah, yeah, good because the subtitles that and the Spanish don't match at all. Yeah, according yeah, to Sin, just, yeah. No, well, I, so I'm like, why do you put it in Spanish? Then? <laughs> I used to, I used to hate that shit too. And then I watched El Chapo, and somehow my Netflix switched it to English like halfway through. Really? And I was tight. I preferred it when it was in Spanish. Uh, yeah. Nah, I'll take the that dubs. happened to me. Before. I'll take the dubs. I don't know how it looks stupid when it's uh, it's, it's, it's like bad. the old Chinese. Flicks. Yeah, yeah, you can't go from. <laughs> From watching the first four episodes with subtitles to that shit. I just hate that having to pay bad. attention that much. I like TV is like a background thing, kind of. Yeah, with that shit, you got to pay attention. I need to like tweet. Uh, for sure. <sighs> what else happened? Somehow I, somehow I think we've covered everything. You think we, so? We've got the Labor Day, Made in America, the NFL, um, the VMAs, fucking Kiki Wyatt. <laughs> <laughs> We got in the mall, Supreme. Do we want to talk uh, about Supreme Uzi closet. and uh, uh, XXX or no? Nah. I I mean, that's totally well, Joe on Joe loves y'all. Uzi's album, so <laughs> I think we should talk about it. 
I really like the fact that as immature as I think uh, you and Rory are, Maul, that when I come means, here... It means so much coming from you. When I come as here... As far as the maturity level. Pardon me, immature man. Can I finish? <laughs> immature man. <laughs> when I come here, I do feel like this is the adult version of what I do in the mornings. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I never felt like we were ever going to have to talk about Exo Uzi here. But if y'all want to, Uzi shit is 100% trash. Have you heard it? No. Nigga. <laughs> well, then never mind. Yeah, I, I, heard was, heard it. I thought I heard it was boring. Uh, I thought it was boring. It's not bad, but it's not good to me. I've heard it played. I didn't play it. I thought it's not like Uzi, I sat with I it, thought he would do a lot. I thought I, I I thought he would separate himself from the pack. Let me say yeah. that. To so be honest, you're the first person I've heard that didn't like it. Though. I've heard great reviews. Well, it that. sounds. No, I'm it's, about it doing. sounds listen, yeah. but it's not bad. It's just not. The numbers were were really good. To too, me, my right? problem with it was I. It sounds some songs he sounds like Doug. Some songs he sounds like Travis. Some okay. songs he the sounds like Wayne. The bad version. He's not doing it. He's not doing a good job. Like I thought of he had his like own thing, but he kind of doesn't yes. have his own thing. Nor does he I'm have fully listen to it. Nor yeah, does I'm he have another it. song that even sound like it'll do half of what uh, EXO Tour Life did. Yes, yeah, and that's important. So now it's telling it's hard, me it's hard for me to give a listen and an opinion on music that I know is not for me. Yeah, that's why. Like I, that's I, well, that's I why I started with it's not for me. Yeah, yeah. but in the music business. Paul Rosenberg will learn this soon. I'm very anxious to see what he does with the likes of Big Crit and some of those other gentlemen in the music well, business. Crit is off the The things that's his? Yeah. Oh, go Crit. No, the, I was super happy when I heard that. The things <laughs> that are not for us, sometimes we still have to grade and judge and know what to do with. Yeah. Because we're in the music business. Mm. That's the only reason I even have a very detailed Uzi review. Y'all know me. Am I listening to Uzi's album? Right. No. <laughs> I just know that fucking they're going to ask me about it. And when I listen to, well, I start, anytime you say, it's fucked up that they changed It's Not For Me to be a diss now. That's I, a diss? I, that's I, that's I thought, a diss? No, I thought it's I'm crazy. in trouble. <laughs> nah. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Bad I, nah I thought Everything it's in the not, world is supposed to be for you? No, It's that's Not For Me was <laughs> supposed to get a longer run in, in getting respected. <laughs> now, niggas, as soon as you say It's Not For Me, it's a diss. Damn, that's nah, a diss nah, that it's not for you, nigga. Why it's not for you, my nigga? It's just not for me. No, nah, no, my nigga. See, that's my point. That's my point. Then you nah, just shot. Yeah, <laughs> you just shot. Yeah, when it's not for you. I just, yeah. it wasn't for me. Yeah. That is a diss. That's crazy. So a 22-year-old's music is not for you? That album, I started it with, it wasn't for me. It's not for me. I mean, his audience, I'm sure, will eat it up. What's the, you know what's why the it's fucked up? XXX. I like well, his bunch shit. Of no, that kid is here to stay. I like that yeah. shit. He has separated himself from the pack. I think he, Uzi's here to stay too, though. No, not. All right. Well, if he is, I'm not getting that based off what he showed on this project. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually listen and live with it. And you know why it's I, fucked I up? You know like why, why why I feel bad about it? I feel bad. I was just talking to Fat Joe about this. Uh in Name LA. Drop. Fat Joe who's filled with Fat Fat Joe needs a podcast. Fat Joe should have a mic in front of him at all times. Yeah. Fat Joe is easily a top two storyteller in hip hop. Yeah. Easily. Now, with that said, I was just beat selector too. You know, Fat Joe could have signed all of Miami. Yeah, yeah. I mean, where do you put? Where do we put Fat Joe in hip hop? I don't think Fat Joe, and I'm not I'm just trying to turn this into a Fat Joe appreciation <laughs> podcast. But you got to look at what he did with Pun. Mm -hmm. Look at what he did for Miami. I, that Khaled. Yeah. Like when you talk about impact. When you talk about hits, when you talk about his always ear, yeah. he always when you talk about bars, I mean, if you know who Don Cartagena is, then I mean, we don't have to have that conversation. Yeah, I could, I could be making a crazy statement here. Did he start weighing on the hook? Maybe. I mean, I need more thought. Yeah. I think, yeah, I would have to look into that, but I but think, I think he might have. I think he gave. Wayne he was a boost. in that time. I think he gave Wayne a boost. I, I would. He definitely Wayne. gave Wayne a boost. Yeah. That's not to discredit anything, Wayne. Of and course, prayers not. to Wayne for his yeah, health for sure. right now. Yeah, for um, real. But I think Fat, Fat Joe, Joe might have been the first person to put Lil Wayne on like a hook for a hit record. I would like to know where niggas put Fat Joe. I mean, I may not even want to hear it on people air. Don't, people don't. That's how much respect I have for Fat Joe. Yeah, but I might of, not even want to hear it on people, air where y'all put Fat yeah, Joe. Right. Well, Fat yeah. Joe. A lot of people don't respect Joe, though. I, well, well, we always say that. I'm, I talk to savvy, like he, savvy music. Yeah, yeah. People. yeah <laughs> Fat, anybody that knows, like, Fat Joe is like, he's, he's up there for sure. I brung him up for a reason, though. What were we you were talking, talking to him in L.A. about something. Oh, I was talking. It's fucked up now today that life expectancy on an artist, you probably, four years is a reach. 
Yeah. Especially four years is a lot. So yeah. if Uzi is here four years from now, I'm going to look and say kudos to him. Yeah. And give him a congratulations. Well, people's attention span is so short now. People, it's a microwave era. Well, and the label, they ain't got time for it. They, they ain't or got the money. time. Right. They ain't sticking around no for you to build yourself. Right. <laughs> Artist development department has not seen a dollar. In not at all. Blame Lenny S for that. <laughs> <laughs> Artists don't want to work, too. You know, you get to a certain point and you think that things should be a different way and they're not. You still have to do shit. Oh man, man. young Well, man. also, young man was at the Hollywood Squares, her and her girlfriend. Oh man, <laughs> I mean, that's it. that, bro. That's it. <laughs> Period. Uh, making music is the easiest it's ever been now because you only need a computer and a laptop. So more people are doing it and putting music out. So that's what also why people are so short lived. Because to get to certain levels, you don't need that much talent, and talent is typically what keeps your longevity going. So with that era, that's why it don't last more than a year. Yeah, yeah. I think that A Boogie and Don Q should be a group. <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah, I'm with you. I'm listening. They, like they kind of are sometimes. I like A Boogie. I think A Boogie and Don Q need to be a group. Rory likes A Boogie a lot. I do. I like Don Q a lot as well. I like Don, Don Q. Could rap I like Don Q, Q a lot. Speak. A Boogie is a song maker. They should be a group. I think Don Q is the best rapper in New York right now. I think more people should have groups. A Boogie and Don Q should definitely 100% be a group. I know that they started out as solo acts, but they I'm not they they might want to put an album out together. And what just would see what be happens. the name of the group? I don't care. And while they're st- they work very well on a record, but as far as their styles, like that new record a- they have together is crazy. With A Boogie with Drowning, like Don Q would kill that, but I don't know if that's what Atlantic wants from A Boogie. Is to add Don Q <clears throat> some amazing bars. Hey, to that. On they want Atlantic. Kodak. They want Kodak Black's terrible verse on there instead. Listen, that record that A Boogie and Don Q have right now is great. What's the name of it? Protect your protect. I don't think I've heard it. T Grizzly that has a new is, record with talented. Meek that I want to hear. It's good. I like that record. Um, somebody else has a new record. Fuck. Not party and kiss. Uh, party and kiss. Oh, Not go. party and kiss. That's a cool record too. Party has about. 15 new records. Why is Party putting out so much music more? Tell us. Call him. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, he said he was, right? That's what he said. And I'm seeing a lot of cool pictures of him in shorts above the knees like I be wearing. And I, it just looks different <laughs> when you're young with dreads. <laughs> like, why is he looking? It's funny that you're like the short above the knees guy now. Like, you really trying to hold that stamp. Because <laughs> you, you was just literally the 4X sweatsuit man like a year and a half ago. Maul, I have... I don't know if niggas have noticed how fast I am transitioning no, into I, soccer it, it, dad. I love it. It's funny. <laughs> I am soccer dad. You got to get it's a van, bro. It's funny. I'm, I'm, you know what? I was looking at the Bentley truck. <laughs> All right. We got any sleepers, man? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I'm not going to do this. No, <laughs> no. Go. I was looking at the Bentley truck. Yo, do we have sleepers, you man? You're not going to oh, get that off on me just ca- not, in casual talk. No. You're not going to just Bentley truck casual <laughs> talk up, me, my nigga. You're missing my point. You All know right, I'm ahead. never trying to do that. All right, go ahead. But when Hove made niggas put their 4.0s away, mm-hmm. when Hove made niggas put their X5s away, and the rims. It, it presented quite the conundrum in soccer dad world. Mm-hmm. What is the official school Soccer dad vehicle. The so Mercedes when I say truck. I was looking at the Bentley truck, I'm not trying to style. I was walking by the Mondrian, and me and Sin saw one there, and I looked inside of it to say, hey, nah, 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 <laughs> a lot nah. Of name that's too much for soccer dad. That's, yeah, so that's nah, a you got to get like a Plymouth Voyager. Oh, now, a range. Range. A Dodge, a Dodge Caravan. Range is okay. No, part. <laughs> or, or the Benz, or the Benz Jeep. Like the GL. New those GL. Are I hate dope. the G-Wag. I'm not doing that. I like those, but that shit is. Oh, the GL. No, the that's GL. different. Yes, yeah. the GL is hard. Even the G-Wagons. I hate yeah, the G-Wagons. G-Wagons I'm dope. G-Wagon. G-Wagons is hard. It would be hard when they put shocks on them. <laughs> you, ever ride, you ever ride over a bump? Yeah. yeah you can, I mean, G-Wagon. you can get all of that put on the car. You're looking at a Bentley truck, man. It, it'll be nice. Um, yeah, I'm saying. When you, when you spend, <laughs> that and that truck. is exactly why I got my car instead of the G-Wagon. Because when you spend 150 grand on a vehicle, you shouldn't add anything. <laughs> I'm that's, with you you should fact. not have to add it. Yo, yeah. I got in that G-Wagon, and the first thing I checked was the volume on the system. Man, it should sound like the Sentra. <laughs> sound <laughs> like a Nissan. I'm like, nope, nope, because I would have to add speakers. Right. And the trunk space ain't that big anyway, and right. now I'm just, cru- and now, now I'm a pimp. Right. If I'm putting fucking 12s and 18s in my G-Wagon trunk, and I, I can't put groceries <laughs> in there, now it ain't a soccer dad car at all. 12s and 18s. <laughs> if, well, if you're going to be do a soccer dad. Do people still do that? If you're, the thing is, Joe, if you're a soccer dad and you're accepting that, 
you don't have beat in your car anymore. Like you don't ride around with heavy beat. Well, no, this car. was years ago. She, you was with me when I was at Ben. No, but I'm saying now, decide. like now, that's what I'm. Oh, saying. Oh, now, no, no, no. We not. Talk- First of all, it, you, you, you're just gonna have the, the G wagon is cool because it comes with TVs and headrests, and the kid to be in the back seat. Let me talk. Wait, is, on, is, like, wait, is that a pitch? <laughs> today, <laughs> TVs yeah. in the Everest. In '97, we didn't watch TVs when they were in the Everest. No, but I'm saying, but now you have. Oh, for the kids. For the kids, yeah. Right. Oh, I don't give a fuck about my kids living luxurious. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you can keep them entertained with TV in the back now. These fucking children. Need no damn TV. Yeah, these kids need to figure out what rough life is about. Yeah, we yeah, have no All TVs. this knowing how to work an iPad at two years old. Yeah, nah, that's we're my nephew cool. definitely is doing that right now. That's what the kids do. My fucking four year old sister, who I didn't even know was four until I asked her yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ever ask one of your family Christ. members how old they are and be shocked yeah. at the answer? Yeah. Like, God damn, you get old. Yeah. <laughs> um, did we cover everything? I think so. Think 58 so. stars. I, I like it. I mean, what else is there? There's a story that'll break tomorrow. What's happening this weekend besides football? Nothing. Uh, the uh, Triple G fight is next weekend, not this weekend. Yeah. Triple G going to kick. That ass. You agree? You think so? Yeah, we got to bet on it, don't we? Got I got bet? Triple G. Didn't you take Canelo? We bet on something. I, think I can't I, remember what it was. We bet on something after I lost the Warriors. Uh, I couldn't. I, I don't think that Triple G is kicking Canelo's ass. Stephen A thinks that. I don't think he's going to kick his G's ass. Triple G's going to kick his ass, man. I don't think Triple G can fight like everybody else do. What? Honestly. Oh, shit. 100%. Yeah, so we have that bet, right? Yeah, we have that bet. Okay. That bet is there. Okay. All right, Uh, so you want to get right to sleepers? Yeah, we do. If, I, if I'm not missing anything, I don't know how much where the time is. We've been, we've been talking a lot. 86 minutes. Oh, we ain't been talking that damn much. Oh, yeah. damn, this podcast has been lit. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you got anything? Chris, you got it right there. <laughs> Y'all know Chris ready to go home. <laughs> yeah, Chris like, nah. Hey, Chris, been, Chris been looking at his watch. I left the chicken in the, the oven. Bathroom. Oh, wait, I did have something else, but it it was one of those things where men, like, I mean, it was just funny. All right, so I asked Maul because Maul only had a girlfriend a long time. Okay. In the event that you were to ever propose to someone, mm-hmm. the ring would cost how much? Now, we had this conversation prior to you coming, so I kind of have insight from these gentlemen already, mm-hmm. and that's why this is funny. <laughs> this is not a conversation I feel men should ever have alone, I, <laughs> by yeah, the way. No, we need help. We need help. <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 no, to say, I don't, Joe, I don't even Joe know said to... the price of what he was thinking about paying for a ring, and it got mad quiet, because me, nor Parks, nor Chris knew if that was expensive or not. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we don't know shit. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I can't even answer that. I can't answer that because I don't know what, what, what I don't. I've never so looked at a ring. Let me so tell I've, you I've, how I've read that it's supposed to be a third of your income. Oh, that's per- I don't have any income. That's perfect. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> that's perfect. A I, I have income? read a third of your income too. Okay, that's, that's crazy. Wish I would pay a third of my income for it. <laughs> that's a lot. Are you kidding me? A third? Yeah. No. I guess. I then guess you what, gotta pay. So for what's the like? Wedding? Okay, so let's say what's the least you should pay? Is she giving it back? <laughs> if it don't work out. Yeah, what's the return policy? That that's important. Okay, so now this is where it got funny to me because when I was when I was having this funny thought in my head, the first thing I wanted to do was tweet it, mm-hmm. and then I said, "Whoa, that'll kill you." That's when, because it was funny to me. Like if you go buy a five thousand dollar ring, mm-hmm. what you think you how much quality you think you're getting for five thousand dollars? Right, it's, it's that's what cloudy, I would say. They would kill me if I tweeted that. But it also depends. It, <laughs> yeah, but but see, my thing is, you it can also kill by single on, people. Though it's not going to be a summer day if you're paying five no, grand. It's going to be hurricane. It's, yeah, it's Harvey Irma, and that, all of that, that shit. Be a yeah, no sun that shit anywhere. Just be bad, but small, no, but uh, see, clear as hell. But only that big. But it depends. Do on, women know the difference? Uh, yeah, that's yes. what I was just about to yeah. say. It, it depends, been on, this shit it depends on your girl. It depends on what she likes. It depends on her taste. It depends on her. Like, you know what I mean? It depends might, on her standing. You might too. have a really simple girl who might be like, I have oh, a I simple girl, which you, is why she's very confused as to why I have not taken $2,500 and purchased a ring. That's a fact. But the <laughs> fact that you guys are so public, I guess, is the difference. Am I you ever buying a fucking $2,500 ring? A $5,000 ring? Like, could I do that? Is what I'm saying? You no. Can, but you can, but you no. won't. Yeah, no. I can't you can, that. but you won't. You can't. But what would happen? At least if you, you, you at least got to get like a what would happen a, a fifty thousand dollar one and put it on the gram and then figure it out. <laughs> Return <like>. the shit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hey, it's got a point. Well, what happens is on her finger. You, this is where people get over. Who is ever just staring at your fucking wedding ring unless you're like a loser creep? Like you shouldn't be just gazing at somebody. And also, shit. do you walk around with like fifty grand on your finger, like to the grocery That's store wild. and shit? Cause that's kind of crazy. I don't want my girl walking around with that type of shit. Hell no. 
Yeah, see, when you get rings like that, you want your girl taking it off? I got to get her a carry permit, too. Like, Well, I think... After a certain dollar amount. Yeah, but when you buy your girl a ring like that, you're usually living a lifestyle to where it's like, you know what I mean? She's she's not in certain areas where she's in danger. No doubt. Shit. Like, if she got a clumsy shit. If she got like a $60,000 ring on, she's not... She's not in the hood going to Pathmark to go buy groceries with that ring on. She's going know, to Whole Foods. People in, bring Bentley in the trucks suburbs. to suburbs. I was gonna buy my girl some uh, nice earrings. Like there's other women bother. in this, there's other women in the same supermarket with that type of ring on. I too. wanna let Maul know that Sin who live wherever she live in New Jersey plans her week around a forty five minute Dykeman supermarket trip. <laughs> so that's because she still needs that Spanish. She needs twenty dollars. They got shit. better platanos. Yeah, over there. About, no, no, no. I gotta get that stick for Dykeman. They got the good. They got. Well, I don't know what they. She's have not right. They got the good platanos. I don't know. And she says it's a lot cheaper over there too. Uh, yeah, it is. Better food. Well, it will be cheaper, cheaper. If, if you're in New Jersey. Acme is charging you four times whatever it costs. Especially where you're that at. shit by you. Airport yeah. prices in Acme. Oh you got you got college too. Forget about or it. Or I stopped eating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped. Eating. I, I said, all right, fuck this. Done enough of being hungry. <laughs> <laughs> hungry is expensive. Oh man, the Holy fucking shit. college kids are back. Yeah. So, oh yeah, it's over. man, these little fucks. You're yeah. not getting no coffee. I made a right on a main street the other day and sat for about an hour. Mm-hmm. Them bitch ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fucking nerd with them for getting that education. Was back. Fucking Montclair fucks. <laughs> oh my God. Huh? Oh well. You'll be all right. Oh, I hate it. I like when the kids go back to school. I hate when they run around all fucking day in the summer. Listen. Yes. That's more annoying. I too. want them to go to school too. Oh, but you yeah, you right by the school. That's what I'm saying. It's they different get when the, they come they gotta to go. your city and take over your city yeah. as opposed to. Yeah, they got to go. And Montclair is definitely a, a college town. Yeah, there's nobody there during, during the summer and then it's packed up. Like, hey, listen, man. I know that parents, we're all supposed to you know, grow up and teach our kids to go to college and you pay for college and college is good for you, man. He about to go somewhere left. <laughs> yeah, definitely. This shit is making a hard <laughs> left right I'm going to keep it all Should've the just way. just went to sleepers. I'm going to keep it all the way in stack with y'all. I don't know if I'm paying for trade to go to college. <laughs> this nigga's crazy, I, I mean, I just don't know if I'm making that commitment yet. You making that commitment. I don't know that. I don't know if he want the commitment. <laughs> I mean, you should encourage him to go to state schools. What I'm saying is this. If your kid yeah, don't want to go to college, what do you do? So, Tell him to go to trade school. I'm doing what my parents did and put my trade, <laughs> trade him. Tell him to pick trade, up a trade. I'm going to trade him to a school. <laughs> my parents sent me right Here, to state this. school. That shit was like a thousand dollars a semester, and I got scholarships. Man, I'm doing the same shit. Oh, with my really? Kids. Yeah, get your ass in the If you yeah. if you live in Jersey, Rutgers ain't that oh, expensive. Yeah. Well, shit, yeah. Jersey City State ain't that expensive. <laughs> go right up there to Kennedy Boulevard. For real, <laughs> right by Audubon. <laughs> hey, man, yeah. oh, man, I went to college in Jersey City. Look how I looked. Shit, yeah. <laughs> look, look how I turned out. Oh God, he ain't really taking a. Best care is education in high school. I'm about to pay for some shit. Listen, I can't foresee sending my kids. You got to sign up for scholarships. They got a bunch of scholarships. Shit. You can yeah, knock yeah. a good chunk out. No, please. Shit, nah. State that. school. So yeah, I'm fucking hey. talking about Bentley trucks and saying right. I'm not. I'm not paying for Trace College. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I got to focus all my energy on the new kid. <laughs> Sorry. Yo, we got sleepers, man. Cause I, cause I'm, <laughs> cause I can't do this. Anymore, man. I just, want, I just want haven't you put Trey through enough? <laughs> yeah. All right, haven't you hey, put Trey, him through enough? Trey, I'm joking, and I love you. First of all, I hope your friends shouldn't be listening to my podcast. But uh, all right, he's so de- 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 definitely should not be listening to my podcast. All his friends are like 25. <laughs> <laughs> Do is Rory. Yeah, word. <laughs> Trey, his friends on the podcast. I'm a text Trey. Do we? Do we have sleepers? Yeah, we do. Ma, what are you going to play? Fucking, Are you throwing out the first pitch in the Baltimore game? <laughs> yeah, I wish. All right, you want the... Uh, all right, brand new from Belly. I wish. <laughs> uh, this is Jack, my homeboy Jack. Uh, this is Stockton my Malone, face. him and... Uh, homeboy? Yeah, it's my homeboy Jack. Him and, him and Cal Scrubby, this is Stockton Malone. Payola's back. <laughs> yeah. That's hard. Yeah, screw me, where at now, huh? You asked me to say something. Yeah, yeah. We back, 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 back. Jack, 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 Jack. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I'm on my 
shit again, it's lit again Work it till I fit again, it's feeling like the pit again These bitches in power, I'm guessing I'm that nigga then Knocking on that door until they get us in We get a win and get a spin Niggas spin like it's in the end I tell her get a stand Bottles for the models, tell her get a friend And hit a stand, different style Been original, never with the trend Ask me who the best, I hit the pin And tell her it depends They dodging the cat and me losers not finna happen Never dodging the action, we with it, boxing and clapping I'm on a block with a ratchet, I'm never stopping attacking They never tell me the story, I'm on a block when it happen I'm in the drop and the smash and I'm gassing, I'm in the coupe edition Son of niggas, the roof is missing Portion like new edition, they hate on my new position Throw salt, you dying nigga, fuck all that superstition Cooking so crazy, my mama had to redo the kitchen Ballin' like world peace with the bases and you the business See all the gangsta shit through my glasses like blue division That's when I flew the pigeons, I saw it like you the vision Thought I had the team, I guess some niggas made new decisions Now I'm taking shots, I'm sipping Henny with true precision Life, yeah, yeah, I got stripes, I never walked in Adidas I walk with the heaters, get off with a diva Try plotting, you get shot a hundred dots Like you walking with cheetahs A feature that I do is like they talking with Jesus Stunting, like a China man that's flossing his visa Off of the meter, they off in the sea as they off in the sea as, yeah They grilling watches, they grilling watch cause it's secondary Never been secondary, you never been legendary, Jack no, 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 don't make me angry You won't like me when I'm angry Wanna fight me when I'm cool And when I fight back you say we same team Okay, 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 so y'all wanna play that way? Cool, put you bitches in obituaries Not no fake news All you lames that claim you visionary Got no great views I look at you from a ways away And I see straight through Got a legal team, eight jewels I swear they can't lose I've been off the gray goose Burning gas like H2s <laughs> Blessing after blessing, thank you, Hazel Flexing every session like the studio's a wave room They said you rap now, said you a let down They hate you, step out, I bet they blow your chest out like fake boobs Yeah, paper or plastic, the bag I'm chasing after It doesn't matter long as money, long as Sean Bradley I saw this new designer line and now I have to have it The shoes are pterodactyl, bag is all Velociraptor It's funny how it's all just mathematics I know your favorite rappers and to sum it up, they average it's all about what I had in my account And you multiply that by the number of times I've been a savage I'm just saying, if you looking closely at the data I'm the best vanilla rapper next to Marshall Mathers You got it? Yeah That's Jag with Cal Scrubby, Stockton Malone Rap names could be anything nowadays Cal Scrubby? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cal Man, Scrubby, you remember it My name was Joe Budden because I couldn't think of a rap name <laughs> <laughs> That's how much pride niggas put in their rap names. Yeah, and someone now, asked me to name the studio the other day. I was like, listen, fans. <laughs> I don't know, man. Park, parks music. Your best is good as mine. Listen, I laugh every time Royce posts about heaven. Every single time. It's a great name. Just Easy. It's still funny. It <laughs> never will not be funny when you're recording from heaven. <laughs> Any, anytime Royce does that, it's going to be funny. Um, Puffy Roy- was wild for calling that shit Daddy's House. Because then everyone had to say they go going to Daddy's House. <laughs> like That was a hard name. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Yeah. It was some other hard names of the Hit Factory. That's a hard name. Quad. <laughs> Quad. Man. Quad's a little soft. I'm yeah, little... Quad is. Nah. There's Premiere. Yeah. It was a few. Nah. Right tracks. There's a few out there. Um, Rory, what's up? Where the Ox? Maul, where the Ox at? You got one. You have closest. to give it back. I have one. I have one. Oh, go. Uh, from a gentleman by the name. This is Kanan from Power. <laughs> <laughs> I did that Featuring earlier. Featuring Rotimi. <laughs> I could play a, a Rotimi joint. But I will not. You just play a theme song from Power. It'd be pretty cool. It's the best part of Power. Is, is Power the best theme song ever made? I mean, Hell no. no. Nah, nah. Now the world come to, to a meet of a different folk. That's the best. They That's lose. the best. No, hell They no. lose. The good times nah, theme song the best theme great. Song. Power's up there. Every show that I watch... After the intro plays and the millisecond of quiet comes, I say, they say this is a get rich town. <laughs> yeah, nah, that, that, that yeah. record is hard. It's a great I intro. Come from the, that's hard. Yeah, it's that's up a, there. It's the best part of the show. It, it's definitely Damn. Easy. That's crazy. I'm going with a gentleman by the name. We've played him before on this podcast. And name we'll play him again. 1111. He recently released a record called Good Love. Yeah, he's dope. I like him. I'm fucking with him. Friend, I wonder why. Friend I, of the show. 
why the hell I don't got like, um, set up by Parks Crib anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you saw about the one right on the corner? Yes. But the last two times I've came here, I was like, all right, let me get a halal before. He's not there? The last no. 30, no, he doesn't set up over here anymore. They be nah, going on like come vacation late. for some must shit. Come late. Vacation for the last five years. I feel like they shot at him or something. Nah, it's like during. <laughs> <laughs> it's like during. They did shoot I think it's like during. Do I ever crush your mind? No, I want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, whatever, whatever holiday this is right now for for Muslims. Uh, Labor Day. Oh no! Oh, you said for Muslims. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure. I think they be chilling. It's always that trash time. around Parks Crib when it's the Muslim holidays. Yeah. Sure. I mean, it's Astoria. I know. Little Egypt. Beautiful music, brand new from a gentleman by the name of Eleven Eleven. Don't touch that dial. Got some cool stories coming up. I'm gonna talk about Angela Yee's new braids. <laughs> <laughs> It's the hot trash. topic of the night. Andrew Lee Briggs is trash. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say. Do I ever cross your mind? Even though I cross the line. Take my shoes off. Do you ever think about me? Yeah, I know we had good times. Oh, this is 11 11 Good Love. My bad. I didn't even tell y'all. Oh. Paid me for three shout outs. <laughs> <laughs> there was good luck waiting for me. Too much time and energy on someone. Trying to get the Bentley truck. I, I told him I'd play five minutes. <laughs> I just want it. I'm Bring the this shit one. back. I'm the only one. <laughs> I did, right? <laughs> I'm the only one that will admit to the payola. <laughs> and I just do it for the jokes. He didn't really pay me. Rory and Moore have definitely taken payola. I wish. I just want that good. I ain't bad at him. Get to the back. Mall sleepers started changing and then all the Supreme clothes came in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. I don't know what's going Supreme on. Supreme Records held him down. Yeah, Supreme fuck out of Records. here, Maul. Supreme Records. <laughs> Maul is Supreme Records, which is why no album has come out. <laughs> uh, that was Good Love by 1111, uh, recently released. Check it out if you fuck with it. If not, don't. Leave it alone. Fuck it. That wasn't part of the deal. <laughs> well, I pay for my creative freedom. I pay to be able to say that. Gotcha. All right. This is for Rory. I had a real nice uh, sleeper pick for Rory that I thought he would get barefoot, and I'll save that for next week. Uh, 
this record, I more wanted to plug the project. I'm obviously playing a record, but Foreign Exchange has put out a compilation album with two new records from them and then a bunch of records from artists that they like. Uh, this on Apple Music, uh, and this is Shelter. That beat is hard. Yeah, Nicolay, you want beat. to be more than just another number, but it looks like all the odds against you. It goes on and on, it goes on and on again Much more hey. Now the pressure's starting to get to you All you want to do now is surrender It goes on and on, it goes on and on again But it just ain't bad enough I will keep you safe inside Shelter from the rising tide Whoa, yeah Now you're free to give yourself permission All your fears have gone into remission We go on and on, we go on and on again, yeah So much was already lost and left behind you So when you were down, let me remind you We go on and on, we go on and on again, yeah, yeah you think you've had enough But it just ain't bad enough I will keep you safe inside Shelter from the rising tide Whoa, yeah When you think you've had enough But it just ain't bad enough Keep you safe inside Shelter from the rising tide Whoa, yeah That was hard Yeah, that's, uh, that's Foreign Exchange Shelter Check out the entire project uh, Hide and Seek Because it's really, really good Yeah, no, that sounded real good um, I'm going to check that out Text it to me I got um, fucking out. So real quick before we wrap up, just want to touch on a couple of quick things. I did ask Dave East when I saw him if that was an album or a mixtape or an EP. I told you I couldn't judge it properly until I got the answer to right. that. He said that was not his album. Okay. So I judge it the way I was judging it. I didn't think that was his album. Okay. And he said he has some really big things planned for his album. Like, uh, said, that, is he going to tour that, for that, that project? That's then? all I'll disclose. But when he was talking about it, he had some really big ideas conceptually for his new album. So that wasn't considered his album? No, not to him, no. Not to him? Not Well, he says no. I don't know. if I, I doubt Def Jam considers it an I album. I would say no, too. I, I would say no. Bad. Yeah, I would say no. I don't think he's saying no because of the numbers. I, I, the numbers I, I, are decent. I, I think it's no. I'm rooting for him. Yeah, he's 25. Rooting, from New York. Yeah, yeah I'm not mad at it. New York is quiet. It's kept, they're not doing as bad as people make us out to be doing. Not at all. Never um, were, really, but... Because we got Cardi B well, and she out here. That. <laughs> I'm finished with you. Oh, and uh, we got Lenny S. Also, are we blaming Lenny S for your fucking sleeper? I just want to know what you what you blame Lenny S. For. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not over that. Uh, Rory, want, Rory wants Duh, to bring back the email segment of the podcast. Yeah. Um, shit, I gotta make the email though. I'm make the email tonight and check the description. I'll put the email that we come up with. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to see a friend of the show at Gmail is available. And uh, we'll take some questions. Who's reading these shits? It was, I mean, my, my literacy's improved. 
good. <laughs> Thank God. They're working on it. <laughs> Your literacy is out of here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> should, and, should, and should last, I blame and Lenny la- for that? And lastly, yeah, <laughs> we should blame Lenny S for your literacy being out of here. <laughs> lastly, the new iPhone, the fucking big MTV Unplugged keynote thing that they do is uh, September 12th. They're not getting me. No, they get me this time. Are they? I'm I, staying well, pat on my success. Me too. I need well, my I fucking to headphone jack. Yeah. Wait, wait, when is the new one coming out? Uh, they're doing a keynote convention September 12th. Pre-order September uh, 15th, and the release is September 22nd of the new iPhone. Jeez. Now, they got my money already because okay, I my stood birthday, pat that, on the 7th. My birthday's right there, so somebody... I did not... I, I, I loved my 6 for two years waiting for the 8. That 7 is super trash. So, I mean, I, I'd imagine the 8 would still have that headphone bullshit, though. Yeah. I don't think they're adding the headphone jack back, back in. I'm yeah. getting those fucking those AirPods. Though. Those are dope. I we'll lose them shits I was on the say, way out of the store. I, 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 don't, see people I don't think they're hard to lose them, though. Shit. They, I lose everybody the I know that they, have them, they, they be have like, yo, cord. it's hard to lose them. Because they don't move in your ear. Like, they're not going to fall out. So, I don't know. The headphone jack alone is not enough to make me not get the new one. I'm definitely getting a new one. This this time. Yeah, I'm 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 done with this phone. I, I mean, I'm I only got a one year lease on this one, so I could uh, upgrade, but I don't know, man. I got this in an Android. I was the guy that went and got a second phone for no reason. Yeah, he was wild. Uh, yeah, that was a wild summer. I haven't picked that phone up since. <laughs> I, I just pay for it monthly. I ain't taking a picture. I've done nothing with it. <laughs> I was gonna ask you if you still had that number when I when you got the new shit. That phone has done nothing but get me in trouble with sin having another phone to go in. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, baby. With that said, I'm going to fuck out of here before I get in trouble some more. (laughs) One. Peace.